In the shadow of the Manhattan skyline, we are at the Rink at American Dream in East Rutherford, New Jersey, in the New Jersey Meadowlands for the USA Curling Men's and Women's National Championship. And this is the final games of the men's round robin. And we have a number of different tiebreaker situations that could evolve here tonight. But our feature match, John Schuster, eight-time national champion, five-time Olympian, leading his team against Corey Dropkin, the 2021 national champions. And the two who went up against each other in the U.S. men's Olympic trials with John Schuster winning out of the best of three. Elsewhere, Danny Casper, Scott Dunham, Ethan Sampson, Wesley Wendling, all at three and three. And three of those four teams have possibilities of being involved, of one advancing and then the other two being in tiebreakers in this page playoffs. The page games tomorrow at noon. And it will be one against two in game one, three against four in game two. The winner of game one advances all the way to the final. The loser of game one moves into the semifinals to take on the winner from game two for a chance to play for the national championship and a berth in the U.S., excuse me, in the World Curling Championships in Schaffhausen, Switzerland. And it is Corey Dropkin 5-1, and one, John Schuster 6-0. and oh. The other thing that happens in this match, the winner is the number one seed, the loser is the number two seed, because if Corey Dropkin wins, they'll get the number one seed based on this head-to-head -head matchup. But it is the two most dominant teams in USA Curling, and for Corey Dropkin, with Andrew Stepera, Mark Fenner, and Thomas Howell, Tom Howell grew up in Brick, New Jersey, played out of the Plainfield Curling Club and is back uh, in some home and friendly environments for this championship this year. For John Schuster, well, I show Chris Plies, Matt Hamilton, and John Landsteiner, but Colin Huffman listed as the alternate there has been in each match here this week as the second with John Landsteiner and Matt Hamilton switching between who will be the lead with Plies and Schuster third and skip. Along with 2018 Olympic gold medal winner, Tyler George, I'm Joe Tolleson. Glad you've joined us. The other matches, Ethan Sampson and Daniel Casper. Winner advances for a possibility to move into the playoffs and might have to play a tiebreaker. Also, Nicholas Connolly and Scott Dunham. Dunham needs to win to keep hopes alive. And same thing for Wesley Wendling against 0-6 Rich Ruin. And, and Tyler, uh, John Schuster, Corey Dropkin, they've waited till draw seven, but this is the one everybody's been wanting to see. Uh, they played each other a lot of times, a lot of familiarity, good friends on both sides of things. You know, John's still the alpha dog in USA Curling, and it is until somebody knocks him off. That title in 2021 for Dropkin, Schuster's team did not compete in that national championship. Despite the fact that Corey has that title under his belt, getting one over John Schuster in a championship that he plays in would matter that much more to Corey. And a trip to the world championships as well huge for Dropkin going into the Olympic uh, year next year, having some world experience if they are able to get through the trials and get to the Olympics. Playing at the Worlds replicates that Olympic experience better than anything else. But these two teams have had a lot of success on tour. Not really afraid of anybody that they're going to see at any of these world championship competitions, Great. but you do see Matt Hamilton in the lineup tonight. John Landsteiner will be taking a seat. And again, as Joe said, Colin Huffman Line's at good. the second position. Little room. It's okay, though. First stone, it's Corey Dropkin as last stone first in. Does come from Matt Hamilton. It's going to be Curl. And it's Colin Huffman. Only if you can, though. Tyler. Yeah, go ahead, Colin. Yep. And they say a lot of the strength of his Heart. brushing. And at Where's this elite line? level of curling, oh, right. how has that I changed? That that the, the, the guy who's on the brush is so important now as opposed to the overall game. Yeah. With the effectiveness of the equipment and the techniques that players have discovered and how to get rocks to actually curl with sweeping, getting them to turn over, and how effective you can be in holding line and carrying rocks too, but directionally speaking more than anything else, that's what's changed over the Line's last decade. Good. And a big, powerful guy like Colin can make such a Lots huge difference in giving you more margin for error on the line of your shots besides the, the distance, which we've always known about. So that's a weapon. You know, when you have somebody like Colin in there, if he goes out and shoots lights out, that's fantastic. But you know what you're going to get from him game in, game out from a sweeping perspective. Nice draw to the forefoot by Tom Howell. 
Brings up second stone from Matt Hamilton. Clean. Looking to bring it in Line's right on clean. top of that stone from Howell. Line's good. Room. Hambone uh, going back to his roots from Go if you need to. his days Girl, with though. Chris Plies in juniors. Played lead when they won the world championship. Time down short. Oh, straight, Chris. Straight. Keep going. Everything you got, Matt's Chris. Familiar with the Keep position. Pushing. It's Keep been pushing. a while for him. Played second good for spot, the entire Olympic quad uh, in our four Top years 12. together and the four years following, but some fresh energy with Colin in there and Matt getting to switch things up here this week and keeps Landsteiner and Hamilton fresh for the playoff round. They have not made any decision as of now as of who is going to be playing in those playoff games if they're going to keep rotating, but I might be able to get some insider info, we'll hope. <laughs> You have a good relationship with these guys? I got a pretty good rapport. <laughs> yeah, we've been through some things together. I actually played with Colin for a couple of years in men's back in the day, too, and lived with them, so very familiar with everybody on the squad. Get in there. Sit. Getting stacked up. 36. In the house behind that single guard. You got enough to make bounce that? bounce there on the freeze from Howell. Do you have enough? You need seven ace? Okay, three quarters makes it. Ten. And looking and no John Landsteiner on the bench. Actually just Hard received a text okay. from him. Apparently he's sick. Okay. Not in the facility here. We'll see what information he's willing to offer on the situation or if it's just sick. <laughs> Go ahead. Time. You talked about the strength of sweeping. Curl. Is there any Curl, difference Curl, if you've Rotate right between Landsteiner, right Hamilton, right 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 and Huffman in terms of actually throwing the stone. Good. And here, clear some out. There's one of the Reds is out, and that just holds on on the left side of the house. Sorry, getting the update 11. from Landsteiner here. Yeah, you do have to make adjustments for each player. Uh, there aren't too many teams like Bruce Mowat's team in Scotland that all four of them throw the rock identically. So. You have to adjust the broom for each individual, but John's worked so much with Colin over the last few years. Uh, he's, Whoa. I think, helped alter Colin's release a little bit from what Girl. we've seen in the past. And he knows exactly where to put the broom for each member of this team. Obviously, haven't played with the rest going, of them for Keep quite going. a bit, but Colin's had a lot of reps over the last few years, hard, too. Hard, so hard, hard, you do hard. have to adjust the broom, but it's not okay. something that John's going to be unfamiliar with. He, he knows exactly what to do. Mark Pretty Fenner breaks things up, but still two in the house for each team. And John Schuster yep. looking at a double. Everybody. Close. Second stone from Colin Huffman. Hard! Hard! Inside out, cross house double for Colin. Little thick, might still get that red out. That way, Colin. Schuster doubted it for a second, but Colin does make the double. Well done. Peel. And as Corey Dropkin tried to get all three out here. I, it's a little too thin to get the two close to it if you're going to get the close. one in the middle. They, yep. They're trying to make sure they get two. Yep. Maybe Hard. get all three going. Stay with it. He looked like he signaled the cross house. And yeah, the cross house double was Great. the first Good play, job. but that spins in front of it a little bit. It's not a bad result at all. Have some backing, so Schuster can't roll to the middle. They have to play. Those like are outside. Again, in the other games, it's Samson and Casper on sheet A, and the winner of that could either be into the playoffs or involved in a tiebreaker, depending on what happens with the other games. Yep. Yeah, huge whoa, matchup whoa. over there with Samson and Casper. I believe Curl. the winner is Curl, in the 3-4 game. Curl. Curl. Uh, regardless of the other games, but right very good it. chance right of tiebreakers. That's okay. That's fine. Sorry, Chris. My We're bad. watching closely with Connelly and Dunham, Ruin and Wendling. 
If Dunham and Wendling both win, there is a tiebreaker situation there. If one wins, one loses. I believe that's the only way that we're straight in with four teams. Nine! Okay. <clears throat> that is correct. You'd have the winner of Sampson Casper and whoever won between Dunham and Wendling. Right. We'll Clean. I'll read it off my <laughs> report Whoa. here so we make sure Whoa. we got it right. Clean. Wendling and Dunham both win. There's a three way tie <laughs> with those two and the winner of Casper Sampson. And doesn't Wendling go through on the tiebreaker because he beat both of the others? I believe so. Normal. If Wendling or Dunham win and the other loses, there's Normal. no tiebreaker and the winner of Casper Sampson Normal. straight in. Wendling and Dunham both lose. There's a three way tie for fourth. <laughs> With the loser of Sampson and Casper. The Kasper. winner, Casper <laughs> Sampson, is the three seed, three way tie for fourth. Yeah, we'll, we're and gonna let this map out as it goes. We'll just keep you updated on what's going Wait. on in those games and not what that could potentially right. mean oh, oh. for exactly where oh. they end up. It's a bit of a mess Wait. right now. Oh. Oh. And what we have here is final stone and apologies for getting into the playoff stuff and ignoring Chris Plies and his two stones and got two in the house and still that guard for John Schuster with Corey Dropkin again, last stone, first end. And we'll get the second stone Peel. from Andrew Stopera. Chris makes you the stick okay. there to at least keep the force in play. And if I got it right, Tyler, and then we'll wait till later when we can actually say something that means something, we might end up having to go to last stone draw. <laughs> That's, uh, nobody wants it to get to that point. Head to head always comes first, but we'll call our game. And the one thing we do know for certain the winner of this game is the one seed. The loser is the two seed. No I think normal other head-to-head -head yeah. or Absolutely. LSD necessary. I don't want to take too much less than when that, this one's over, pull out the ink and put it on the bracket. <laughs> now to Skip Stones, John Schuster first against Corey Dropkin. Yeah. And Tyler, for people who aren't following this yeah. every day, how big is the rivalry? Normal. I think it's a friendly one, might have obviously. To work this they, one a bit, they're around each other quite a bit. Corey yeah. in the Duluth Curling Club yeah, really uh, nice, so. with John and Chris and uh, John Landsteiner. But yeah, they've they've had enough bouts over the years that there is a lot of familiarity. And it's a it's a nemesis type Whoa. of thing. You you want to beat your buddies more than anybody else too. And I, I don't think there's any no, animosity, no, but there's definitely no. a, a one-upsmanship and probably a little big brother, little That's brother good, thing well. with Not with John and Corey. And John's been helpful with, with Corey roll. over the years too. And yeah. uh, you know, it's a great thing for USA <laughs> Curling that we have yeah. multiple I'm teams that we and feel can we, compete at the world all. level now. And Corey's just that. been yeah. knocking on the doorstep forever and the, like obviously winning the mixed doubles world championship is a Amazing like feat in itself. Like it. We're so proud of him and Corey TC cool. for that. But, but Corey's focus with with this squad, he badly wants mm -hmm. to get to the Worlds and eventually the Olympics after being an eyelash short okay. in 2021. Yeah. All I can say from the names you rattled off, that must be, must be one heck of a club championship. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of banners <laughs> hanging in our club, yeah. The overall, it's a, it's, it's a wonderful place. Shout out to the Duluth Curling Club. Kind of like the Ohio State University. The it is <laughs> the <laughs> Duluth Curling Club. Yeah, Mr. Madison over here, Mr. Dietz, shaking his head. He's shaking more about the Ohio State, I think, than <laughs> the Duluth too. Curling Club. <laughs> <laughs> Dropping with his final, oh, yes. or first stone, yes. the first stone. Hard. Yeah, looking for a little hit and roll. Trying to Hard. hold it for the short oh. roll under the center. Big roll, big roll, big roll. roll. Instead letting it go. Oh. Pretty good. Not sure if it hung on for a count or not. It's a measure. I think it's Schuster's us, but I think it's a measure. Not certain. I would guess yellow right now, but you need to be certain. Since you're not, how does, how does it change strategy? From the underside but of the rock, it looks identical almost. He may end up just nosing and losing both if he's not sure about who oh, shot, or they may draw underneath yeah, the center. That's fine. I think we pile it out here, but I can still make this make his life tough. Yeah. So. 
I, I don't think this is, I don't see this curling much. I kind of just want to throw peel. Kay. So not going to take any risks and is going to blast these two, but you can cross it a little bit and still roll oh. under the center while losing both stones. Need to roll a half inch more. I'm going to throw peel at this. Ours never stain anyways, so. I don't foresee this doing very much if I throw it good, so. All right, final stone of the first end for John Schuster, eight-time national champion, and he says he's throwing peel. Let's oh, hit this just off whoa. nose on the inside whoa. and roll straight sideways yeah. under the center. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Curl, curl. curl. Just a little too thick, but clears both stones. So it'll be an out turn peel attempt for <clears throat> Dropkin. Throws the high hard one as good as anybody in the game. The points will be at a premium tonight, I think. I'm not expecting this to be a real high scoring affair. These two going back and forth. And when the shot making Should is that great, it makes points a lot harder to come by. We went through so many of our games during the week where we haven't had a lot of blanked ins, and we've gotten them in this final draw on both the men's and women's side for the round robin. It gives you an idea of the importance of these games, too, but also the, the situation that presents and an out Clean. turn. Yep, yep, yep. Clean. To try and blank the end. No problem at all for Dropkin. All right, boys. Let another go. Let's get started again, buddy. So there you have it. First in in the books, it's blank. Corey Dropkin holds on to the hammer. Second in coming up. City's Orthopedics is ready to go with more doctors, specialty services, and convenient urgent care locations. Ready, set, TCO. Back at the rink at American Dream in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Final draw of the round robin on the men's side. And Matt Hamilton's first stone of this second end. And Colin Huffman doing some sweeping. You keep going, it's never in, I don't think. Uh, maybe. 15 Pulling this to though. a tight guard. <laughs> yep, go, go, Colin. That's good. So you're getting used to the Schuster experience now. Well, well I look, it, it's kind of across the board with some of them. And, I, and what I, I can't figure out how much is, is the ice and them still used to it. And, again, probably in my head too much about it's a rink and a mall. Um, but I love that. Oh, no, you can keep Subia. Oh, no, well, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, that has nothing to do with the mall. That's, that's just John. That would happen in any facility in the world. Top 12. Top 8. Line's good. John Landsteiner Copy. says he's Copy. just in the house on lockdown, making sure, taking precautions Copy. with. Line's good. Curl now. Hard, Andrew. Being ill and not wanting to get anybody else sick, but should be hard, just fine. Hard, 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 we wish hard. John the best, obviously. Okay, 45. Not bad. And 45. Watching at home, getting to listen to our dulcet tones. Not or quite behind that center guard. Do that too, I guess. Like. Tell you, Wesley Wendling, the national well, junior champion, you? taking two in the first over. Rich Rowan, as he's trying to see if he can get himself I'm into okay the playoffs. I'm okay with just nosing this, Matt. Yeah. Ethan sure, Sampson takes a one-point lead over Danny Casper yeah, after one, Ten. and Scott Dunham trailing Nicholas Connolly two nothing. That Wendling team is the wild card in the bunch because <laughs> they have all the talent in the world and so young, Wait, Scott, maybe yeah. just blissfully ignorant of the situation. Had a chat with them uh, yesterday about the opportunity, embracing the moment. Take a look around, breathe right it in. It. Right to it, right to it, whoa, whoa. Just have fun, enjoy the ride. You're playing with house money. That works. And Sorry, my bad. That stone. Nice short run so, by Hamilton. So they're oblivious enough to real to not realize they're not supposed to be doing this well. <laughs> I, I think I think they know it's house money. You know, with the Junior Worlds coming up, 
they themselves said that they were using this as prep for, for Junior Worlds. But now you're a win away from the playoffs, and all of a sudden, you know, things get a little interesting. You're Wait, yeah. technically four wins away from a, a national championship. Now, their expectation's probably still not to go all the way Close. through, but Curl. even just to make the playoffs in this field, Whoa. just a, a fantastic Curl. possible achievement Good. for that young squad. Well, and the experience to take that pressure situation of a playoff here into the World Juniors. Oh, well, yeah, and they, they've played in, in those situations in juniors already, obviously a little different in men's but also good experience for getting back here in the future and playing in this championship for probably Wait, decades to come. Whoa. Colin Huffman's Clean. first Clean. stone of the second end. Stay close, stay close. Whoa, Carol. Just a board weight out turn it, for Colin. It. No roll, leave it where it is. A pretty good piece, I'm gonna roll good. towards good. the outside. Pretty straightforward play from both teams so far. 10. Now Mark Fenner. Fenner also playing Great the out turn hit. Queen. Cooch to his teammates and Whoa. his friends. Curl. So you're gonna hear Whoa. that Queen. nickname Queen. probably Queen. many times tonight just so you know where Great. it's coming Great. from. I have to at least meet him first before I'll even venture Ten. to call him Cooch. I wouldn't call anybody Cooch that I didn't know ahead of time. <laughs> but. So that's half in the rings. Huffman is going to need to the inside and roll in if they want this on the paint. Wait, good. Clean. Maybe 10 5. Close. Just control weight. Curl. Keep going. Ply's trying to get this to turn over and get on Anything the inside. Right the edge. Can That's they good. get it That's to tuck behind that guard? No. Question for you, because we didn't see it as much in the women's game. But we've seen it much Figure more here, whether it's Matt Hamilton, Colin Huffman specifically right there, kind of with that snow plow in front of the stone. <laughs> it's and, conserving and energy. They think that for the first half of the sheet that it's every 11. bit as effective as sweeping, like brushing and getting motion on it. Once you get into the second half of the, the shot, and a little past halfway, then that plow isn't nearly as effective when you're trying to get the rock, especially to curl. Clean. But just for maintaining speed, Clean. cleaning and holding line, that pressure curl. snow curl. plow type push, again, much easier to do that if it's having keep close going, to the same going, effect going, going, as putting in all that Third. effort as Great. you see Tom Howell doing there, trying to get that to turn over. Again. It's like that far of a roll. That shooter 11. just keeps hanging out. Both teams trading 11. blows, waiting for an advantage. Chris Plies. Plies playing the out turn Close. as well. Close. He's the one who had Close. the big hit on your Diet Coke, I think, Close. earlier Girl. in the week. Easy. Yep. He had whoa, a what? Whoa. No. A, a I think he had the big hit on your Diet Coke. Oh, when he, yeah, he knocked when he my can <laughs> over. Yeah. That little sweep kick knocked the thing over. Immediately replaced it, but he with another free one. It wasn't like he bought me. Ten one. five. Very graceful, Chris Plies. Airless. Instead of no tick rule, we had the no kick rule. Ten five. Rule. Andrew Stopera now. Andrew throwing the. Whoa. Clean. Once again, Girl. control weight, yep. out turn. Straight. Just trying to hit this on the Straight. nose. Whoa, roll it here. Okay, Almost good. just a hair to the wide side. Keeps a tight corner. Show some Maybe on this side. opportunity to go underneath for Schuster now. So intern draw for Chris Plies. I was thinking 90 as well. Try and come around to the four. 90 like good. Chris playing the intern on the wide side, close to the draw to the button path, maybe a little wider. 
We'll get an early clock and see where we're at tonight. Been hovering right around that 14-1 range all week. Maybe a little later. A little bit early, early Colin. I think we need a rock clock. Griffin. Line's good. Yeah, I like that. A little bit of room, but line's okay. No, it's curl. It's curl of anything, but take a look. Take a look. Looks like heat. Shoot. Maybe carrying right, a little I more on that line. I think I might have misclicked that a hair too, That's though. Fine. All right, guys. Eyeballed the wrong spot. So I doubt that was up to the number that we got. I'm going to go back to eyeballing it on the ice again. Tough, but I can make it. Okay with this, though. Does go to the back of the forefoot, so guard a little off the center line. Dropkin electing to have Stapera play the out turn draw through the hole. Just full four. <clears throat> full four. Line's good. Andrew Stapera. Line's another good. It's always straight. New York area native playing right out of the Ardsley Lee Curling four. Club up in Westchester. Close curl. We can shout um, out Ardsley as well. Curl. Had a fun okay. ambassador really trip nice there to run some clinics and some meet and greets a, a few smaller, years right? back. Yeah. Like that? Nice draw by Stepera, right to I it's quite all the way. I mean, that top of the button. You're throwing your draw button, right? Yeah. Which almost gets us here. We don't need too much yeah. less. Just a little bit. What did you have on that, Johnny? 13.97, so 14. So right around that 14 range again. We saw 13, or 13.97. I had the same hog to hog as Chris's draw. So like a two feet slower weight-wise. So 14 should be close. So here John's saying he thinks that this outturn path is about two yeah, feet we're just slower. Yeah, to freeze that thing, which is only than yeah, the intern be, path shy full four foot, I think. that Chris played. What do you say, five, ten? So looking ten. for 14. Okay. Okay. So this time, we'll get you a correct clock. First stone of the second for John Schuster. Felt oh, good, we're though. good Felt this good. time. We got this one. Okay, got room, room right, right now. now. Easy. Right off. Lots of room. Lots of room. Okay, line's getting better. Easy on curl. It might be a Straight. hair short on this one. Ah, boys. Jesus. Yeah, our clock more accurate than the sweepers on that one. Corey Dropkin agreed. He, he said he thought that clocked out short. That's not bad, though. I just, I think they're, I think they're throwing this, right? If we come here, they're throwing this. Oh, you were talking before about sweeping at the elite level. And you mentioned during the women's draw this there? afternoon, Probably, 12 right? to 15 Probably. feet difference. We can go here. They're just going to have this or not, potentially. This might be the best shot then. He's trying to not a lot of room against three. So, okay. so you're seeing that one's a great here. Do you like that, Cooch? Cooch, do you like that? Okay. Like right here. Okay. Yep. You like that? Dropkin electing to play the intern draw around oh, go, his own counter to a freeze. We're just we're just seeing this this out turn makes this even easier. He's, so play he's this. gotta cross it though. Yeah. He's I maybe think that's a pretty good spot though. Yeah. This is it a couple different shots they can play. It's all about what you want to leave Schuster because they can get a second counter in a couple different ways. I think this is the right play. And you heard Corey said if they're drawing or, or bumping, I suppose, either way. But Corey said they're drawing against three. So this is risk reward, setting it up that they're going to dare John to try to make a draw against yeah, a possible three-point end for Corey, with Corey's worst case being Schuster sneaking out with a steal and only being down 1-0. Thank you. My question was what did not a lot of room for three? <laughs> it's a little big. A little early. Yep. Yep. Yeah, for line a little bit. Intern yes! draw for Corey. Yes. Line's okay. Yes. Yes. They like the line Whoa. right now. Sweepers on and off. Whoa. Whoa. Close. Close. Powell yep. just yes. cleaning. Hard. Hard. Needs Hard. to get by Hard. the red, Whoa. though. Whoa. Oh, that's well managed. Right. Pretty good. Taps a little, rolls open. So maybe a. Good. 
A hit and roll yeah, for Schuster just to try yep. to force. And that does look like the plan. It I don't does think it's going to like go snappy. I think I throw that with 11. Kay. Dropkin has one and I mean, two. They kind of run going that way. This way might curl, but. Kay. I mean, safe. We happen to know that he's still got to make the roll. Yeah. Well, knows, but. Yeah. Schuster will play aggressive at this roll here. It's 11. As you said, whether right they knows or roll off, it's a fairly straightforward shot for Dropkin for two. Really need to get this roll and force Corey to have a, a much tougher shot for a second point. Conceding at least one to Dropkin at this point. Last shot, second in oh. for John Schuster. Close. With an in-turn yep. to try and limit opportunities Whoa. for Whoa. Corey Drop. Yep. Hard. 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 Takes a little turn. Rolls to the open. It's a little jump that they didn't expect there. Pretty much that draw shot, right? Is it easier if I just throw it like back ring weight? You could. Just draw for two here. It's easy just to throw back. Back eight, back four. Okay. I'll let you know when they tell us. So similar ice then, or? <laughs> okay. Putting the broom down for close to the draw path. Corey knows he's got backing, so he was just trying to decide whether or not he wanted to play heavy like draw eight, because of the four, way the guys. port staggered. <clears throat> and here Corey said back eight, similar so it looks like he's going to throw for backing. And that's why the broom is about two inches inside the broom they put down for the draw of the button. Okay. Last stone, second in for Corey Dropkin as he tries to take the early lead against John Schuster. And wants to make it two points. How much? Back four. Back four. Clean. Back four early Whoa. from the sweepers. Whoa. Curl! Needs curl. to curl a little bit. Still on the corner guard right now. Hard, Tom. Hard! Powell needs to get it to turn Hard. over. Hard! Go hard! Get in there. I think it's gonna going to get off of it. Keep going. Please, yep, please, he's please, perfect. Please. Nice job by Howell to get that to turn. Good weight control by Dropkin. Well done. Good team shot. And Dropkin puts up the first points of the game. It is 2 0 after two ends of play and John Schuster to have the hammer when we start the third end. And Steve's Curling Supplies, America's number one curling equipment supplier for over 50 years, is proud to support USA Curling. No matter your skill level or budget, Steve's Curling Supplies has all of the top products from the most popular brands in the sport. And right now, save $10 on any purchase of $100 or more when you use the code USA Curling 10 at checkout. Visit stevescurling.com for all your curling needs. Back at American Dream. Into the third end for John Schuster against Corey Dropkin. Dropkin just picked up two in the second end. So Tom Howell with the first stone here of the third. A little high. Corey Dropkin it's looking to place straight. the guard. Wes Wendling taking. Hard guys. That two keep in going, the second end the now to tie up Rich Ruin. Keep going. Or Good. All knotted up, 63. and Connolly now leads Dunham 2-1 after two. Dunham takes one in the second, getting forced. Samson Casper now 1-1 after two ends of play. Tight games all around. Think we're okay. Okay. Think we're okay. Now first stone really from Matt line. Hamilton. This year. Exactly where we're going. Line's good. Line's really good. Doesn't need any more curl. 
Time to go good, Chris. Corner guard for That's Matt. Good. Now away, expecting to hey, see start, some dude. stones in play. Dropkin is going to try to bring the game to the, the middle. Schuster will try to drag it to the edges. Tom Howell with the out turn. Up 12. To bring it around Hobby. the guard. Line's good. Hobby. Bury it behind. Little bit of room. Line's good. Top of the four. Hobby. Get a little bit of room. Needs to finish up to bury. They'd like to get at least half Fight under. Four, now guys. starting Fight to turn. Four. It's the pair of pushing under. Keep going, keep going. Good. good, good That's good, well good. done by Tommy. Nice. Well swept. Spot, guys. 43. So Joe, we mentioned we did have viewers north of the border. We have another one right now. Another top Canadian player, Reed Carruthers. Watching up north, thanks Reed. Says my voice is heavenly. I don't disagree with you. I appreciate the reinforcement though. Easy. Your beard Four. is heavenly. Easy. Reed, we got that This was 14-6, guys. Good to hear from you, brother. Really close. Just two, just two, little bump. Can't really do close. anything on this line other than freeze. Yeah. It timed out great, it's curl. It's curl. They can't do anything but right freeze. Right Can they right get it all the way there? Atta boy, Matty. Great throw. So this is where we got TSN and Sportsnet beat. You, know, you can't text commentators to get mentioned <laughs> on the air for the major Canadian networks. You only get that here with us, Chris folks, and here. pretty much guarantee you're going to get mentioned if you sense something. <laughs> Going to Mark Fenner. Top eight, top 12. Wait's good. A nice yep. freeze there from. Yep. I know Hamilton. Lee. Hard line. Top 12. And hard Fenner line. Bringing this Come this on, is Tom really Dig. turning over hard for Fenner. Dig. Trying to get by Dig. still, but it's going to click the center guard. All right. It's a fine spot. On the plus side, it did move that guard over a hair and take away the, the high side bump for Maybe Schuster. Maybe just that. Just do this. You could also take a run at it, like that side, but I think it's that or it's this to me, but it's hard to move that anywhere far. I think we go here. Here. I like this. I like this. Straight off is just fine. 8-5. Schuster just playing firm with Huffman here and trying to roll to a corner. Not Close. a straight peel, just yep. trying to roll away in that pile of corner guards. Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yep. That's going to nose too whoa. much. Yep. That over curl, but that was always Good. another option, so well called by Schuster. Not what they were playing. Little they were trying to roll the corner accidental run back and now buried behind their own stone, too. So, But that's peel. part of being a great skip in the game is seeing. The Rock coming Great. down the ice and making that call at the right time. John didn't call that in the last two seconds of the shot. That was maybe halfway, a little over halfway, and already made that call to get the run. Whoa! No, Mark Whoa. Fenner. Yes! Whoa! Yes, yes, yes! Good. And the run back by Fenner, and that one was called. <laughs> Great shot by Cooch. You hear the Cooch chants in the arena. We still go here. Oh. Going to get louder as the it's weekend hard to goes. Get here, so I think it's here. Both teams with very vocal followings. You could do it too, yeah. If you go to usacurling.org, you can find out ticket information. There 11. might be a few left for the Even semifinals tomorrow. Like, in the finals on Sunday, but it, they are close to being sold out. Colin Huffman second. We're going to have to space out the shout outs as they go because yep. now they're starting to pile <laughs> in. <laughs> Huffman playing the control Whoa. weight. Yep. Hit on this tight red yep. guard and trying to roll onto the paint. Chris, Chris. easy, easy. Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. That will get on. Nice right. shot from Colin. That opens up that draw that path for Schuster, too. Just as important as getting the rock in the rings but accomplishing two purposes. And this is John playing you know, the next level shots where you're not just peeling, 
You're getting something else out of the shot. Now Dropkin has to chase this stone. If they just play the peel, Corey would be able to draw under that center. Now they have to chase Schuster's stone. And if this is nosed, it doesn't get the roll. John has the ability to go under the guard instead. And Andrew Stapera. Okay. It's almost like I can see the future. <laughs> That not nice? too, I, can, I, I know what John is doing. <laughs> really, really well played there. So we'll see if Plies can execute the game plan and bury under this corner guard now. Yeah, I know. I guess it's You find yourself corner. a little more successful predicting John shots than other skips? I would say that's <laughs> accurate, yes. <laughs> Did you have your 90 last time, though? Chris Plies now. First of two stones for him in this third end. Where are we at? And looking Room. for an outturn draw Run behind through. this corner guard. You're out, Cohen. Somebody get it moving. Line's getting good. Hamilton trying to get this to turn. Line looks pretty Come good now. Ball. It's all Come about on. how far Come it on. carries. Keep going. Keep going, Matt. Like to get it Every all end. the way, almost to T on this line. Attaboy. Barry's a good piece of it. Might be able to dig it out with hack but Dropkin instead yep. like they're gonna play the run and try to clear both yellows playing it to the inside too so that the miss would roll to a center and it's the second oh. from oh. Yes. Yes. Andrew Stapera yes hard yes yes High hard yes 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 Andrew. yes yes oh, just it. over curls Schuster will go right underneath, I believe, on those. Just shy of biting four, full eight, guys. So John is looking at how deep they can go without leaving a double. So he's going to draw, he said, just shy of the fours. Full eight, be even up with the other yellow stone. Chris Plies, in turn draw. And Bunch once this settles, we'll be down to skip stones. Let's go back here then. Go back Straight here. What will the skips here. have to deal with? Signed out way back here. All the way here, Colin. Yeah, Take a look. This looks deep, Straight so now here. they want to make back sure that guys. the double is yep, too going. thin to play. Back 12 is great. Keep so going. they're going to go as far back as they keep can going. still in the house. What was my split? Ends up in the back 12s. Okay. Let's make the roll. Good communication from Team Schuster there with the, the weight read and placing that rock well. So Dropkin will play the cross house hit and roll. Yeah. Two red stones to go under, gives you a little more margin for error. I get 9-5 right there. You want more? Just a little bit extra. A little bit extra. See Dropkin up. 2-0. In the third end, Schuster with the hammer. So first of two for Corey Dropkin. Not a lot of curl on this line. So Dropkin playing probably a little firm to keep the roll flatter. In turn for the hit and roll. Hard! Hard! Maybe a little on the tight side out of hand. Hard! Oh, trying to hold it. Hard! Hard! Whoa! Whoa! No, 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 no. Needs to sit to stay buried. Okay. We'll see where it spins. It's pretty much wide you know, open. It kind of sucks to roll in here, but I think nose is fine too. Uh, yeah, I don't hate nose. Yeah, this will be an interesting that spot 11, now. That, 11, okay. right. that probably is max, to be honest. I think they can turn 11-5 over. Yeah. You give me a little more then, that's fine. You hear the conversation with Schuster implies 11-5. What's that? John thinks that that's max room, so we're calling about we board gotta, weight. Like, knows that we're, trying, we're trying to roll like but Chris three saying inches that in. They so. think they can turn it yeah. over with that weight. Yeah, because so. I don't quite have, I've 
just missing an inch of it. So. If it is a little on the full yeah. side, which they I've thought the broom could be, 11, 11, then they can maybe make this turn a little Single, bit. So they uh, want to roll just breaking, so. half a foot, somewhere in there, maybe a little less. But he said nose was okay. How come? Well, if he rolls behind the guards now, drop, he can get out of the, the end with a freeze. So, yeah, again, you're daring him Both. to make the freeze against the three. Clean. Yep. This doesn't quite look like 11-5. Yep. A little soft. Mark. Yeah, only about hack, so a lot less Good. weight than I think that's about the best place to roll to. Pretty good spot, though. Good spot. How much you got? Any chance at the double here? Doesn't have a lot of that yellow stone. So Corey's lining it up to see if he thinks there's enough to play it Sorry. or if they just play the intern draw. I think okay, he's asking Tom Hall what he can yeah, see from the hack. The top, that's fine. It's either that or you're like half to as close to nose as you can or low, or you're drawing here. Right. He's playing that for three, which is okay. Whatever I'm not like. sure if he'd play yeah, that for three right. or not. That's okay. risk reward down 2 0. We don't want to go down 3 0. Either this or it's here. Maybe like. With Stapera talking about that in off that Schuster might play. Pretty straight on the side, right? Yeah. Looks like Corey's just going to play a slash and try to go over the top with this yellow and get both. We'll see if he. Yeah, he he got halfway down and looked and said it's not there to play it. So, so they're going to play the draw. This is there's more margin for error here. You're not killing any stones, but if you make a freeze, it, it's kind of like making a double, unless. Schuster does decide he's going to play that in off that Stepera talked about. I'm not Coach sure if nicely here. Schuster will play it or not. It's a long game. We're only in the third. If this was the sixth, oh, even I think out John out. might play that shot for sure. Your back one is full 12 foot basically, and just piece of eight foot. But, uh, it's a very important intern draw for Corey yeah. Dropkin. Yeah, aim for T line, top four T line. Okay, 14-5-ish, you think? Corey said 14-5, so thinking this is a little quick track. I'm trying to limit the damage that John Schuster could inflict here. Clean, clean early. Careful, little room. No problem oh. on line, plenty of room here. Got a curl touch. Where? Back one! Yep. To the back one! Curl. This should curl. be all curl. there. Line's good. Hard curl. Hard. <laughs> Hard. Keep going. Keep going. Got to get a buried. Yeah, that's going to be a pretty good look for Schuster at three. I was thinking about throwing same kind of 11, 11, 5, the same thing I just Never threw. had the line that to might, get there. Do you think that's good or is that minimum? Uh, I think that's good. Okay. Yeah, just outside of here, pretty much. Right here, Johnny. So after giving up two in the second, John Schuster an opportunity to I move back or move into the lead for the first time in this game. So he can pick up three in the Same third. Kind of 11, five years a lot of distance yeah. between the guard and the left. rock. So he, he maybe only rock, has so. a third, as you just said. Half but that's plenty with how much distance there is. He could get all the way to the nose Ooh, with Hack if he good. needed to. I think so it's going to go though, Matt. So. Hack weight. It should turn once it gets close to the center line. A little touchy line. Yep, 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 yep. And yep, here yep. it is from John Hard, Schuster. Go. Yeah, this gotta is go. a little tight out of hand and turning. Huffman trying to hold it. Easy. Looks Easy. like he is. Clean. And there's the value of Clean. a Colin Matt, Huffman. Go ahead. Go ahead, Hard, stick, 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 stick. See if that sticks. Ah. It's going to be close. Listen up. All right, let's go. Does, does hold on the paint for three. So three for John Schuster. Head to the fourth, Corey Dropkin down by a point, but with the hammer. And Warm Room Hero is the intuitive curling club software that takes the stress out of schedules, registrations, and more. 
Warm Room Hero, a platform built for curlers by curlers. Check out Warm Room Hero at curling.club today. That's Warm Room Hero at curling.club. Back at the Rankin American Dream, we'll catch you up on the other scores as we're going here because John Schuster via Matt Hamilton, they have their first stone. Tight guard right at the top of the house. And Rich Ruinen, who stole two in the first end, gave up two in the second, got two back in the third, and leads 4-2 over Wesley Wendling. Nicholas Connolly up 4-1 on Scott Dunham as the first stone coming from Tom Howell. The corner guard there and Sampson and Casper, Ethan Sampson. Singles in the first and third to lead 2-1 over Danny Casper. And the way it is right now with Dunham and Wendley losing... We still are in a situation of needing a tiebreaker. Line's good. With Dunham, Wendling, and the loser between Ethan Sampson and Danny Casper. That's the messiest like situation right now if it holds now. up the way it is. You can curl. 14-7. 14-7. 14-7. and Connolly Bars playing goes, spoiler Tom. right now. Get full eight footer better here. Keep going, baby. Nice, nice pair, pair from nice Hamilton start to start out. Nice tight guard and right around. Emulating his idol, John Landsteiner. Tom Howell, one of many friends from the Brick, New Jersey area. Down the shore, yep. made their way up the turnpike to American Lines Dream. Good. A little jaunt on the parkway Close. first before they get to the New Jersey Lines turnpike. Good. Top 14. Only. And Howell. Just needs us to hit the brakes, a good spot. Doesn't really matter if it's behind the T-line or out of the corner. Half. Plenty. It's fine. You're going to chase around the outside. These are always 11. a bit of a guess when you're going around the outside of corner guards playing hits yep. for how much it's going to track. You like to play a little more weight than you would in the center for, the, for whatever shot you're throwing just to take the ice out of it a little bit. Little so it's hit first, stick second. Close. Whoa. The out turn from Colin Huffman. Go ahead, Chris. Curl. Really got to go. All right, whoa, 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 whoa. Just Flies right gets there. it to turn enough to hit and stick. Dropkin doesn't mind that rock back there, though. That's a jam rock to use Shield. under the corner. Save the shooter. So again, Peel and trying to keep the shooter for a corner. Should be advantage Dropkin if they're able to make this. Mark Fenner's first here in the fourth end. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Roll it. It's good. good. Almost to the opposite side, but now two yeah. semi corners at least. Next shout out because they complimented me. I like that kind of half the the line. <laughs> Joe Polo and the Polo <laughs> family watching at home says your voice yeah. is smoother than Colin's head. That's really smooth. <laughs> I'm not sure anything gets smoother than Collins Dome. Appreciate you, Joey. Hi to the fam. Hello, Room. Kristen. 
Hopefully an orange whip in your hand as well. Life's good actually though. Three orange whips. Orange whip. Life's good straight even. Huffman playing the intern Stay draw. Chris. 14 Trying to come six. around the guard. Half buried here. Go ahead, Chris. A little bit more. A little more. A little more. That's good. Lies good, 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 good. A couple good. extra feet there. Nice wait. shot nice from terrible. Huffman. He's been sharp early as well. Yeah. Nine five. Like it. Fenner with another try to run back now, but red yellow this time, so they'd like to stick this. Clean. Yep. Yes. Dropkin yes. likes it. The second stone yes. from Fenner. Yes. Hard. No, 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 no. Well, maybe a little bonus oh. on the back one. Heard Corey calling I on and the sweepers weren't going. I don't know if Fenner was calling them off. That's off now, but I still think it's safe to play this or even a little here. It's fine. Ended up pretty good anyways. Not behind you got the guards, it all. but. You have all of it? Back to zero or two mode. You could throw it a little harder and. I try to, but. I think I like 10. 10. This time Chris Ply is having to go down this outside track. Similar shot to what Huffman threw a little bit ago. Wait. Easy. Whoa. Curl. This is a little more exposed. Definitely fading back a little more. Huffman trying to get about. it to turn. Keep going. Good. That way, Chris. Good throw. That thing really danced. Colin got his weight on top of it. Whatever you like. Okay. I'd be pretty surprised if Dropkin didn't draw here. I think they're still Ten five. playing zero or two. I'm missing but an edge. I'm yeah, missing a piece. He doesn't quite have the edge, meaning it's not completely exposed. That, that's okay. 10-5. You could roll under with a hit if you get on the right track, but you could also just draw around that corner with backing. It's a little conservative play. And the outturn from Andrew Stapera here in the fourth end. Oh. Curl, curl. Keep going. Now Howell Keep trying going. to get this one to curl. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Hangs on for a biter way out there. Changes the track up a little bit. Anywhere inside works. What weight you see in? Same. Okay. Side, if Again, you hear Chris there saying 10, but on the 9-5 side of things, that goes back to what we discussed, Joe, within the outside ice. If you're airing anywhere, it's on the heavy side with these hits in case there's a fresh path or frost in the outside of the sheet. Yep. Close. Whoa. Whoa. Close. Curl. Curl, curl, curl. Go, Colin. Yep, go, 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 go. Good touch there for Plies. Rolls to a good spot. Half buried underneath the semi center guard. 11 5. With Hammer, really not looking to draw at all here. Still chasing and playing the hit, trying to roll under the corner again. Would be an opportunity to draw if they chose. Soft from Stepera here and Hard. just curling. They're gonna wreck here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Roll that in. Bump rock, the guard does go in the house. So yeah, I wouldn't mind rolling just a little Schuster tiny will bit have to like chase it still without hammer. You know what I mean? If we roll and get a piece of the eight foot, it'd probably be nice. Um, it's like that 10 5. Or? I think 10's good. Okay. Edge. Edge. You hear John saying 10-5 and roll, get a Might piece in the minimum, eight foot. Honestly. They're trying to make the double too thin to play. Ten. If they roll any farther than we that, it might be a pocket. If it's nose, it's 
Under a little more natural. No good on the back one. And it's doubled the equally right long, before so. he came down ice, he looked back at Chris Plyce at edge. And a foot and a half. Edge of the stone, that's just where he wants the broom. Nice okay. So it's resting fine. up against the edge of that rock. Clean. Yep. Clean, yep. Yep. Now first stone from Easy. Schuster. Easy, Curl. Curl. That's right about where they wanted to leave it. Drop can okay. eyeing up the double or roll. Too, if we miss that one. Yep. It's like a quarter, right? Ten quarter? Six quarter? Yeah. Read there. I'm okay with it. Okay. If you stick it, it's not bad either. Yep. Um, you know? I'm seeing. Yeah, I'm seeing like a like a seven. Okay. Right there. Okay. Yep. So playing the double. I believe that was the uh, final call. They do have. The right they were lining up just for a plan B. That the second one, though. Yellowstone. Off the rings. Seven. Obviously, plan A is to make the double on the two counters. Dropkin playing his out turn, inside out. Whoa! Close. Well, if the hack try to clear the house here. Whoa! 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 Whoa. Up just a hair, yes. real close Whoa. though. Well, it's well called by Stepera. Great throw from Dropkin. And I think he's throwing those so well right boards. now. Yeah, it's almost an automatic shot for Corey. I think in order to keep it high enough, I gotta throw it pretty high. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think I look throwing at least eight five. I mean, I think you can wing it. You think I throw a peel? Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Two thirds, get two R's, or is it under it? Three quarters, I think. Okay. So you heard Schuster saying they're throwing peel here. Plies telling Throw him he likes peel. peel for this. Good job, Corey. I don't know they that want we to play a flat peel, roll close. to try to go underneath well, the too. guards so, I mean, at this, worst, this, this and they have a stopper here. with their own stone. The more weight they're they throw, the flatter yes. the roll, which will keep more of the house. So John's going to get aggressive at this one. Last stone, fourth end for John Schuster. Oh. Oh. Try to put Corey Go. Dropkin in a position to force. Right to Go it! On, right to it! Sit, sit on it. Oh. Just Good goes try. behind it, so just a hair on the outside with that flare, but again, an aggressive go at that roll from Schuster. So we'll see what path Dropkin picks. Looks like edge of four. To see what he, what he can four see lead. for a free read. Easy blank for Corey. You see the Mezzanine level, full of fans all the way around. Great crowd tonight. Last rock of the fourth for Corey Dropkin. And just playing soft weight so he can see some kind of movement, any kind of read. It's kind of stayed right there. Maybe a little bit of finish. Well, after two in the second for Dropkin, three in the third for Schuster, a blanked fourth, 3-2 Schuster as we move to the fifth. Back at American Dream, 
for the final draw of the men's national championships here for USA Curling. Danny Casper out in front of Ethan Sampson now 3-2 in a match where the winner could be in the third spot. Scott Dunham trailing Nicholas Connolly 4-1 and Rich Ruin and out in front of Wesley Wendling. Wendling picked up one of the four, so it's still 4-3. Wendling may need a Watch win. Yep, go ahead. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, that's that straight stone. Hey, I know, but I, I'm not sitting here thinking that's that stone Richard's in instead of straight. I'd give you left. The only way we avoid a tiebreaker on the men's side is if we have a winner. Well, we'll have a winner between Sampson and Casper either way, but if we only have one winner of Dunham and Wendling in those other two matches, if they both lose or they both win, we're going to have a tiebreaker. And Connolly just stole Andrew another Rock. point in the fourth to, to go up 5-1 on Dunham. Major turn of events there. Good, Tom. 54. Couple guards up to start this fifth. I think the speed will be okay. Hamilton's a little off the center line this time. Tom Howell goes immediately to corner guard on the other side. Both leads sharp so far. Got a little bit more. A little bit. Five. Second stone from Five's Matt okay Hamilton. Five, Five. Stay close. Okay, line's really good. It's even room, room even. 14-3, 14-3, careful. You can go a little bit. Hoffman finishing this one up a little bit, really trying nice. to bury straight, around Matt. the outside. Nice nice. Shot by Matt. Well done. This is really where Matt comes to play these championship events. That energy that you get from him, whether it's the, the clown or the rah-rah guy. Yeah. Can be infectious Top for the four. team when it's funneled Three. into his teammates. Line only. Line's they feed good. off of him. Top four. Yep. Top eight. Yep. Yep. Gotta go. Never off. Hard cooch. Howell playing the come around and getting Hard. awfully tight to the guard. Hard. Curl. 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 Uh, great sweep, man. Great Boy, that's sweep. a good God, sweep God. there by Stepare on Fenner. Has ever. Looked to have a two. chunk of that guard. Probably a but two. Get it right here. it all the way by. Yeah. It's lost, right? So Colin Huffman now. Each side with a guard and a stone Line's in the house good. tucked behind it. One, two. Probably curl. Huffman's out turn it's trying to get a second one curl. buried underneath that guard. I know we're going to have to curl, so get it going. Definitely got to go a bunch. Need everything. Go. Hard He's more. playing the guard right more. now. And aye, aye, aye. Okay. All right, Colin. Comes up quite a Your bit short. Your throw is fine, dude. Way too much ice. Line didn't get there either. So the tight guard open. Dropkin will play the run. Can make this. Shooter likely sticks around too. And they have one buried under the corner. Corey's been waiting, biding his time, trying to get a better chance. We'll see maybe some aggressiveness a little later in the game. Close! Yep. Mark Fenner here. Whoa! Whoa! No, 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 no! Shoot. Okay. Just okay. sticks it in, but does leave their guard in a good position. Like this? Even if it, this is pro side for sure. I actually maybe even like that. I still think we throw it up here though. What does he mean there when he taps his shoulder? Throw Playing it firm weight. Okay. So don't need to throw a bomb here. So they kind of want to roll this shooter over to a good spot in the middle. So that shoulder tap. Yep. Means yep, not the king of thumb weight that Colin could throw. Hard. This is on the tight hard, side this time, ours. though. Really don't want to lose your own. Oh, it's just Ooh, wonderful. Almost. Now it's very. Okay, you're either. <laughs> you can draw, you can split, you can. I don't mind. 
mind that. Dropkin looking at maybe playing a split. But now eyeballing just the run instead. So wants to cross this just a hair. Maybe roll over for a corner on the opposite side. So maybe two shots in one. Run back, roll the shooter, guard the corner. Yep. Fetter with yep. his second here in yep. the fifth. Yep. Yep. Yes. And this is over curling too. Schuster will be able to hit the open one. Now he's just figuring out where he wants to leave the shooter. Lining things up. I mean, that's okay. We can also play. What's that? Can we get all the way under it? You can get over it or under it. Under it seems like the easier one. You put a ten and a half. Ten goes under. Ten. If they play under, if they play the deep roll, I think you might see Dropkin. Play a little draw bump. I think nose is the Try to set up multiple point end under the corner. Yeah. Chris Ply set nope. for his first Ten. of his fifth end. Don't know if I like the roll underneath here. Clean. Plies playing the intern hit and roll. Yep, yes! Hard! Hard, you gotta push, Cullen! This one hard. is rolling now, too. Hard to stay, hard, 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 hard. Ooh, 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 there ooh, is that deep ooh, roll. Goes behind. But that's two underneath the corner. Now Dropkin can go on the offensive, either with a freeze or a tap. So Corey. Top eight, bite the four Give foot. Give the green light. And that's why I wasn't sure if that roll is the correct shot. I, I think Dropkin might have been sucked into playing the cross house double again if you hit that on the nose. It is a freeze attempt for Stepera. With the out turn. Clean. Easy. We've seen some lately start to over curl. Off. Straight. Corey Dropkin seems Straight. to like this. Straight. Yeah, Straight. Really get there. Straight. This is heavy. Straight. Yeah. Trying to go Straight. by the other Whoa. one. Whoa. Really good call by Dropkin. Tricky. Still, <laughs> you're tricky, Corey says. Their so the shot. In intern sneaks by. by. Not the best result, but here. better than clicking and That's rolling fine open. That's too. Yeah. You go right to it. Okay. So a freeze for Schuster there? here. 13-8. Yeah, freeze is good. He's probably going to tap this a little bit too. Even if it chips and rolls off, John's still going to be sitting too. Just trying to settle in there, and if made, then drop can likely follows again. A little bit of room. Chris plies with an out turn here. Where are we at? Line's good. Beg your pardon. Whoa, room, lots of room. It's getting better. It's got to curl a mile though. Close, Colin. Whoa, Line's whoa. Line's getting curl better anything. now. Only if you have to though. Can't bounce on this on line. Just, we can't bump on this line. Can't bump this much on this line. There you go. That way. That way, Chris. Beauty. Settles in there, nice. Well done by Plies. Good read by the sweepers. T line. Just be another follow again now for Dropkin. Stacking on that line. Now Andrew Stepera. A hair less hat, baby. Off! A little sequence Mine's here. Good. Wash, rinse, repeat. Yep! Hard! This one on a little different track and curling. Hard, the where are we? Already. Trying to hold it yes, to get by going. the other rock Focus in the top yellow. of the Hard eight time. foot. It looks like line. it's going to go, chip. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, keep going. Okay. Yeah, yellow may still be two. I mean, he He's can got, throw the freeze in here. Well, maybe. How much you got of this, Matt? Colin, watch out, dude. Last one. All right, 
Maybe not. We're good. It's fine. Probably just cut. John was just checking to see if there was a slash well, double and how much they could see on that yellow. Get rid of Doesn't this appear there all was. Of a these two become counters. Yeah. I mean, it's either for me, it's either here, or it's just like guard and let him try to. But yeah. I mean, if we guard, he's drawing. Right, which are, we got to be okay with. So maybe it's just maybe it is just coming all the way to it. We just got to make sure we get by. It could get really scary if we don't. Yeah. As long as I stay on a good angle, though, he's got nowhere. He can't. If we get just even edge on edge on this, he can't get shot rock with yeah. the next shot. Yeah, correct. I think this is the spot, guys. Yeah. That's where we were, and it really had to curl to get in there. I don't think we got to take too much more. Okay. Half rock. I'm not sure we really want to corner freeze their rock, but it might not be the end of the world because our rock's still not going anywhere back there. It just gets a tiny bit scary. But. John well, two, trying to stack another that, one on that line. Right. I mean, if it happens over curl, it almost sounds like he's trying to convince this, like himself of a decision. <laughs> well, he's, he's saying the plan B, he's not sure if he wants to leave it where it could. So the plan A is the freeze. He's saying he's not okay. sure if it'd be okay to freeze on the red, the high one, for the second option. And so off the hack for the really intern soft. draw. Really Should be good, though. So both sides. Yep. Take a look. Try to draw to a freeze. Good. Definitely oh, wider set. path than dropped. Always oh, falling. Always oh, falling. Still needs right to now. go to get by that red Mark rock on. at the top of the eight foot. Got to go for weight too. Keep going, Colin. Push. A little, more. A little bit more. Not Great bad. Okay. Well, it's interesting now because getting it by that red might going. not have helped. Now it looks yeah. like. Dropkin can maybe slash and lose at least two of these yellows. I don't know if the two ever moves. I think Corey almost hoped maybe it would go a little farther on that exact line. I think it moves a little bit. Okay. Got to be humming. Yep, I know. It might it's just be touching that, we'll try to get that red both still. Moving. Right here. Feel weight. Yep. Turn. Let me take a look from above here and see exactly how much or if that yellow is indeed touching the red stone. So that'll affect if Corey can slash that in or not. Yeah, he can't get to the, yeah, no, the higher right yellow. So he's just going to hit it on Out the turn. nose instead and try to get these moving. We'll see what kind of action it gets on the second yellow. That's the interesting part. The top one's going almost assuredly. The second yellow is the key if Corey can get that one moving. Heard him say peel weight. Oh, this will have weight. <laughs> is there a really bad result here for Corey? Close. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Not likely. Whoa. Yes. Yes. Hard. Whoa. 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 So moves him around. Looks like Corey's second and fourth now. Schuster first and third. Make the double? Yeah, I did. we don't have to kill this one though. No. We just have to get, like, even I just catch it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have to throw peel. I think peel maybe sprays that out. Like, it's nice because we're line two. I think we don't, we got to make sure we hit the back side. Like, throwing peel at it, we maybe could scrape it and somehow out count, leave it out counting us, you think? Maybe? You think you can get to the top side of that? Yeah, we're just deciding if we can get to the top side. Yeah, or not. you can. What's that? You can, definitely. Right, and then, but it still probably goes. Yeah. I still think I'm looking, talking like not. Okay. If I nose it, it's not the end of the world. There's still no deuce for him. This one, this, this is second, this is third. But we can make his life really tough. He's going to have to make a draw. Like, I just got to make this. Just what weight we're going to make it with. So it's half, eh? Yeah, like half. So I think we can put there, and I can throw a nine. Like thick half? Yeah, even thin half probably thin works. Half. It probably just catches here and sits. Yeah. It's one of the fascinating things about curling. He can't get the back one. Right, he's going to. His one side anyway, discusses all the strategy so and like, full earshot of their opponent. Anything over here? Did he ever hear an no. opponent go, oh, you know, we can make their life tough and kind of chuckle to yourself, or maybe it won't be so tough. <laughs> yeah, it's not unusual I mean, I'm fine just playing the, the role. I still think I want to err on the side of caution, yeah. that's all. Okay. 
But we have, I want to roll the lie too because I don't want to leave him like some kind of hit and double Are you still roll. Throwing I don't nine? Think he can do it. I'm still gonna throw nine. Okay. So just nine, yeah, so yeah. a little on the firm we side, out go, turn like, hit. Just gonna roll over towards the red the stone. Side, he's still drawing, probably. Should sit three and nine. Schuster's concerned. They're just talking about the angles of where they hit this. Is there any way we could leave him some kind of weird Anything between triple for two? Three quarters and half is good here. Have so to be on the side pretty thin right on that on that rock to go by the other red and touch the yellow. So just a little hit and roll over towards that other red. Oh, close, 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 yep. Now turn to bring it in and let's see if he can hold Corey oh. dropped and only getting one. It's not. Left a double Ooh. for two. Jesus. Yeah, that's a mistake there. Had to sweep it. Is it Ooh, Are we lined? Needed to us. catch that thinner. It might be us now. Yeah, it is us now. Wow, so <laughs> actually pushed yeah. themselves out of count. Just a sweeping error by Plies there to not have that hit thinner and make sure you don't move the, the yellow. Needed to come into the side of that stone. So now there is a double for two for Dropkin. Just has to cross this. Firm weight right here. Okay. And roll in just a little bit. If you Coach make the double thick, firm. you should roll like in for second I count as well. Might overroll, though. Yeah, that's the issue. You don't want to throw too much weight firm that you roll too roll. far. Just throw 9.5. I like this call from Corey. Smarter weight. 9 5 right there. Okay. I think that's good for 9 For the new curler when you say thick. Uh, it's going to hit. It's, he's going to cross the face a little bit, so the low side, and hit the other yellow in the back of the forefoot. Try to lose both. We are, we are third. It's hitting it thick enough, it's only going to roll flat, so you got to make sure that. You roll to the fours, but if you throw firm, there's a decent chance that it over rolls and doesn't out count the yellow that's still left in the house. So he's just playing normal, crossing it a little bit, rolling to touch the forefoot for a second point. Battle here between the top two close. U.S. teams in the yep. World Curling Federation rankings. Close. Very close here. Yes! 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 Hard! 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 Good. Wait! Wait! Will wait! 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 Time. No, rolls too far. Better Looks roll. as though it rolled too far. Just a little miss sweep call again. I haven't kicked anything out yet, but it still <laughs> looks like one. I don't think the second red one is close enough to measure. And they were pretty sure that it was red for one before this. So I'm gonna stick with red <laughs> for one. The red that's closest to the yellow. Yeah, that's easily red for one. And this one, again, from the overview, doesn't look real close, and it's not. So. That was almost like a cheap win on the measurements. I mean, that seemed like too easy. So I'll, I'll take the victory anyways. The past couple of days, you deserved a little bit of a gimme, no? Yeah, I got, yeah. they've been really close. So <laughs> a couple of two spins even. So one for Corey Dropkin. And we come to the end of the fifth. And the top two teams in the country are level 3-3. Three, three. And it brings us to the mid-game break, brought to you by Broom Fitters, where you'll find a full selection of curling broom shoes and equipment, along with unique curling apparel, gifts, and more for a limited time. 10% off your first order with the code USA at broomfitters.com for good curling gear.
Back at the Rankin American Dream, the end of the fifth. Corey Dropkin, John Schuster, level at three. We'll catch you up on some of the scores together. This is the Men's and Women's National Championship coming up at the end of the month. Traverse City, Michigan is going to be the Mixed Doubles National Championship. And we're joined by Don Pichet and Don of Traverse City Curling Club. Uh, a brand new club, new facility. Excited to get a national championship, I could imagine. Uh, we're just tickled to be curling on uh, dedicated ice. It was a, a long journey, as every club knows. Uh, very familiar with that. And uh, never in our wildest imagination uh, would we have believed that uh, we'd be ready for this. But we are. And we're super excited about it. Our community has uh, uh, taken on this game as kind of the fabric of what happens there in the wintertime. And we're super excited. We're super excited to show off this amazing part of the country and uh, bring these world-class athletes to Traverse City. We're, we're, we, just, we just can't be more tickled. So you said that you get the new facility and you yeah. didn't think this quick you get a national championship. Yeah. So what would you tell other clubs who are like, well, maybe we want to do that? What's Dr the challenge? Dream bigger. Okay. I mean, that's the biggest thing. You know, there's there's a million ways to figure out what can't work. Um, but all you got to do, I mean, it, what can we do? And, you know, you get enough people believing that maybe we could do this, maybe we could do this, and the next thing you know, you're doing it. And, I, you know, I mean, I didn't ever believe we were going to have a national championship in Traverse City. It wasn't even on the radar. But here we are, and, uh, and we're ready to do it. And, I, you know, we do, if there's one thing we do well in Traverse City, Michigan, it's hospitality and it's, and it's have a good time. And I can't wait to get, you know, these world-class athletes up there in Traverse City. It's the first time. Now, I, I don't, you know, like I'm saying this, I don't know <laughs> if this is true. It's the first time that Traverse City has hosted a national championship for an Olympic sport. Now, that may not sound like a, that big of a deal, right? But if I say that to somebody in our community, you know what they, really? Is that true? Yeah, it's true. And, uh, you know, that, that's, that starts to make an impact. I mean, that, you know. You but said, we could probably say that for a lot of different communities. Right. But let's just say it then. Why not? Hey. Let's say it. It is. It, it was, but, but as you said, dream bigger. So did you have to do a little sales job in your own club to, to say, yeah, we can do it. We're ready for this. We can do it. Yeah, of course, <laughs> you know, and on the and and then as soon as you walk away, go, what the hell did we just agree to? <laughs> you know, but the reality is, um, you know, anything we do well at, we have to stretch our own perspective. What can I really do? And then what's one step beyond that? And uh, you know, I don't know if we can pull this off. But you know what? Every other time we've had some situation, I don't know if we could have a 32-team bomb spiel. But guess what? We did. Uh, you know, so we, we can figure it out. And there's lots of ways to say we can't do this and stop. But that's just not the way we grow. That's not the way this game is going to grow. And it's certainly not the way our club has grown. So, so Talking with Don Pichet, Traverse City Curling Club, you talk about growing the game. You have a great new facility. I'm sure half the battle is getting Traverse City to know you have a great new facility. Yeah, it's so, kind of surprising. So the curling world knows it, but not our own city. Is so that? how does this help from, from a local perspective to grow the game? Uh, well, you know, I mean, we, we've, it's been great because, you know, we have this, you know, all I had to say was with the media was, hey, did you know we're having the first national championship of an Olympic sport in Traverse City? We are. And I've got radio, I've got TV. They're all over this thing. They, you know, so they, they want big things to happen in our community. Um, and I think with that, we're going to get, you know, even more exposure. Look, our club went from 120 some odd members a year ago to over 400 members uh, just by, you know, being in the faces of the people in our community, um, being engaged, reaching out to community, and, um, you know, I, I just want, fo I mean, I, I, you know, part of my dream now is, is, is to help other clubs get to what we did. And, and most of that, to be honest with you, bro, it's, it's just get out of your own head and realize that people want this game. Our country needs this game because, you know, the ethics and the ethos of this game are, are the best of American, the best of what it means to be an American. And, and we have it. People want it. We shouldn't be ashamed of it. We, we need to get out there and be bold about it and uh, 
And that's what I'm all about, and I'm not going to stop. All right. Well, good luck. February 27th is when the National Mixed Doubles Championship begins. It'll be at Traverse City Caleb, Curling right. Club, a beautiful new facility. You can get tickets line, at usacurling.org. Like uh, Don, you appreciate the time. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. We, I can't wait for everybody to see. <laughs> all right. Good. Don Pichet joining us here as we get into the sixth end between John Schuster and Corey Dropkin. And... Guard from Corey Dropkin at the top of the house. Corner guard coming from John Schuster. And now second stone from Tom Howell. Yeah. Close to halfway. Halfway at least. We just here, Broom. Very nice. Good. And that Very nice. Spot, Tom. guard just hanging on the center line. Yeah. It's 14 7 in here now. And again, February 27th to March 3rd for the Mixed 92. Doubles Championship. Easy. You can get tickets at usacurling.org. Uh, really Close! Cool. Third stone, really or second, beg your pardon, second right stone now. of the end here coming from Matt Hamilton. I'm really disappointed Still to come it. back and see I'm that good. no rocks went six. deep right in the first off. three. <laughs> the one right time John Landsteiner is actually listening like now four, during the game, I can't tell bit. him that it's faster Probably after the Maddie. break Beauty. as all four of them are short of the rings. Certainly try. Top eight. Because <clears throat> I think the right last four, five then. games we, we did, somebody – either went back house or through or into the house on a guard opening up the sixth end. These two veteran teams, too savvy for that. Easy line at least. Easy. There we sit 3-3. Three, three. T back four. Back four. Close. Back, back eight. Four. Yep. Whoa. Close. Curl. 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 Oh, go, 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 go. Just nicks the guard. A little but. redirect there. You heard the sorry from Dropkin for the accidental make. Still good call to get it there, though. Great call, dude. You don't have to apologize when you do that, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's... Again, good sportsmanship, both sides. Schuster saying, you don't have to apologize when you call it that good. A little bit of room. And now Colin Six, Huffman. Seven. Right off then. Looking to draw into those like two seven. stones. Got a mile to curl. Coming down six. Okay, it's getting better. It's always curl Coming though. Down. We're still there. This path is running a little straight right now. Time you saw that nearest, previous draw from. I think we might want to go by the red. Fenner I just, yeah. end up ticking the corner. All right, okay. and now this one from Huffman. Fine, taking its time curling as well. Be nice to unlock. Next shout out for the Hollywood curlers because text from Liza Barris. Enjoying the commentary as well. Joel Dietz says hi, Liza. John Benton says hi, Liza. You got a lot of friends up Seven, here. Five. <laughs> we love our Hollywood friends. Excited to see everybody at House of Hearts. Huh. Liza, yeah. we do need to start that movement like that? to get to get me that TSN Sportsnet job, and I think you're the, the person to get it going. What kind of weight are you throwing? Yep. Only half kidding. <laughs> Mark Fenner now, his second of the sixth end. Similar. Coach throwing the intern draw, trying to come down into that more. pocket. Close. Close. A little tighter path than the previous Back stones, forward. trying to stay off that Curl. straighter run. Clean. Straight. Back four. Whoa. Just want to juggle these a little bit. Good. Good. That's a really good shot by Cooch. You see now both reds angled onto both yellows. Schuster's going to take a little extra peel. time to look at him now. Probably getting one all the way in here. That's really Have well to get managed. It all the way in there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I think you're at that 10. Okay, he says one all the way in there. First that's, thought for I, the novice might are, be why not try you. and break it up. Well, it's, I mean, it's broken up already from where it is. And for Schuster, you don't really want to move these around. 
any more than they are right now. If you throw this in the pocket, anything that Drobkin does, this shooter from Huffman is still going to be in that area. Oh, it's straight though for now. It's good. Well, it's really close. Second start of the end anything. for Colin Huffman. Got a curl. And Kenny getting better. Close. Draw it into that pocket. Curl. Just to slide it by three guards just, just does curl. just that. Just Trying Whoa. to get it to finish that and get right in the pocket beauty. of those two. Shot, huh? Right there. Well done by Huffman. Hey, Great judge, boys. Is that about where you'd put it if you walked up and that's set it. the stone? That's the spot. <laughs> and watching Colin throw, his release is it's a lot Try less sudden than it's been in the past, too. I, I know that John's worked with him a bunch with that, and he's he's always kind of uh, th How tried to got? make the shot like in the last quarter, maybe? 10 feet of his delivery before with a pop, and now it's a little more a deliberate. Otherwise, we toss more, this back. A little softer release, I guess, and oh, it's no, easier to get I don't any good, though. things out of finesse shots with that. I really like the way Collins throwing the rock right now. Every rock of this end is still in play. <clears throat> is it like a soft tap with the end? Yeah. Elsewhere. Wesley Wendling we board weight or hack yeah. weight. has gone up on and Rich Rowan in 5-4 with board. one in the fourth, a steal of two in the fifth. Yeah, Rich had a soft weight bump for one in the fifth and wrecked the guard. Looked very confused as to what happened. A big deuce for Wendling. Clean. Yep. Andrew Stepera. Clean. Curl. Gotta go. Again, wanted to juggle these around really a little go. bit and change really the angles. Go. And Fenner needs Keep to get going. this to turn. I miss yellow. Yep. It's fine. <clears throat> now the angle's playing more into Schuster's right. favor. Open that up, though. That yellow frozen in the pocket. Might make that double Shout to my dad. Out. That's a reverse I mean Mickey Mouse, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> the mouse ears are on the other side. Might just be guarding this. I hate throwing Danny guard. Casper, two in the sixth. Right now, I think if they to go up 5 3 on here, Ethan Sampson. Across space of ours, it might clip the yellows and get them both, kind of thing. And that tap, Scott Dunham got one back in the here. fifth, but trails. Good. I guess it spins off the side. Nicholas the, Connolly, 5 2, is there in the sixth. In yeah. All right, well, I, the other thing we could do is try to get to nose or just inside of nose this thing. It hit, as long as we hit our yellow on this side, that one is the one that kicks, and I don't think the other one kills it. You see what I'm saying? Come in here and look. I'm, it's, it's fine, but we I are I don't know why we're taking a look at these things. Here, Probably because Joel Dietz is in control of the camera. Oh, well, it's coming <laughs> off this rock. It's, it's you gonna try to sneak spinning. one of those home, Joel? This guy's not no, no, no. So. <laughs> Just, I don't know that if we hit this high that it's great for us. Well, I don't think we also need to throw a missile at it. But this one might not go very far if we hit it on this line and it might just thunk and... I like this on the nose a lot or just a shade inside a nose with like nine. Okay. Okay. I mean, let them go in here again. It's, I don't really okay see anything it. else. No, and this, this might roll in here where it gives us some help or something. Yeah, I really don't like leaving them this time. No, that's fine. It's not terrible for us, but we'd go here and they happen to spin one in here and yeah. feels pretty dumb, yeah. Yeah. Dead nose. Nine. Yeah. You don't need to try to keep up with everything there. <laughs> I'll just tell you they're throwing a little <laughs> firm, hitting this red stone. The red right at the top of the house or the high guard? I don't think it's gonna curl. The tight one. The tight and one. And trying to move these reds. They don't want to leave the tap on this, so they want this to they want their red to go out as opposed to letting Corey tap the red and bump the red up into a better position. So Chris Plies. Clean. An whoa, out turn whoa. into the tight guard. Very close. Yep, yep. To set off a chain whoa, reaction. Whoa. Yep, yep, yep. That's pretty much what they were looking for. Freeze. Did open up the freeze path though for Dropkin. Schuster is sitting first, second, and fourth. But that intern path, if they can lock into that pocket. Be 
Needs just the same Could improve the situation for Dropkin. Still three shots left for each team. So Andrew Stopera. T-line! Hard, clean! With a shot that could. Close, yep! Yes! Really make for some hard, hard decisions for hard. John Schuster. Hard, Tommy! Hard. You got a great one here, keep going! Keep well, going, I really buddy. like go, it go, if go, it gets go, by. Go, 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 Tommy go, go, go. trying go, 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 go. to hold the line. A little more, a little more, a little more. Great, oh, just papers right. that Yellowstone right stops top four, but. I think just they're pretty happy high. with where it ended What's up. That? Just high. Yeah. I mean, we're going to roll out of the way, which kind of is a bummer, but. Yeah. I think three both reds. Could yeah, three go, quarters. And I, I mean, just a shade high is still good. Shade high should do you make run it. back the yeah. tight guard? Yeah. Yeah, inside, Johnny. Still like same weight? I do. Okay. So they're going to play this. Yeah, yellow, time. yellow run into the pocket of the two reds. Schuster could be sitting four after this shot. Again, not throwing a bomb. I think they're just throwing a firm. It's all about where they go after contact. If there's still a freeze in that pocket for Dropkin. Clean. Whoa, whoa, close. I want to hold off on the sweeping right now. Yep. Whoa, whoa, Carl. Her call. Whoa, 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 whoa. Really good. Sit in there, baby. I only got Pistol. one, but the Sit other slides that behind. Boy. That. Kind of dirty. Yeah, the angles are pretty good, though. Good thing for Dropkin is it's lined up, so two of those yellows go very easily if they do play the red in. Right there. Could just do, try doing this. I know, but it's, I mean, you'll get some curl here, firm weight. Oh. Just think like firm weight, just try and tick. Yeah, he can't really see enough to play nose. That high guard blocks Otherwise, off much like so. Otherwise, right here. I mean, if you even if you're here, it's we gotta get going. You can call timeout too if you want. They said they gotta get going. Corey dropped in under 14 minutes of time weight. remaining here. We're in the sixth end. Tick, tick. Ooh, this is an interesting call. I know. So yeah. Dropkin trying to catch the back uh, two stones, so. go thin with it's what he can see on the number two counter, and nine. then catch the one in the back Paramore. of the fours too. Right there. Nine. So just a little tick redirect double for Dropkin. And this is a fun one. Clean. First Clean. start of the end for Corey yep. Dropkin as Whoa. it's been back and forth in the sixth end Curl. on opportunities available for each team. Curl. Hard. Needs to Hard. get up a little. Get it out, get it out, get it out. Pretty good. How far will it go? Not bad. Boy, really close to great. That's such a creative sh shot call by Dropkin. I mean, I could just go here, right? Like, yeah. I mean, he's got to throw a guard up there. Should yeah, guarantee a he score. Might play there. That's fine. I think if I get here, it gets tougher for him. Is it ever this? Ugh. It's. I mean, what if I just peeled the guard right now? He nuts, nuts, and he might be a tough team. Yeah, you're probably right. So, I don't really like going here. I, like I said, I think this is probably. My thought on it? I mean, even if you go right. Because he can't dig this anymore because of this, right? Yeah. Although he could probably, he just threw it, and maybe he could scrape it over the top. Is it ever this, though? I just get a little nervous about hitting it just wrong and making this, and all of a sudden they're putting one here, and it's really tough to score. Sure. Sad, play this thin and just let it go. It's a triple to lie four. Boy, that is. I mean, even thin. if it touches this one on the way by, I don't think I don't think I have enough to see it to like stick this here. 
really thin. That's not that thin. Quarter. <laughs> I mean, I guess I go screaming by and like this, and it's still, he still has to make a good one here. We don't have a ton of time to talk about this. I don't know. First, I mean, we we're going to leave him. If we make this, it just is like. If we put it here and he wants to play this, he's right, going to play the triple the if we hole. don't get some of it under here, though. Yeah. Right, we got to get all the way to it. If we play this, maybe it's just playing it this way. I mean, I think. I think if we get it to right here, Chris, I think we're good. Okay. So, and I know how to get there, so it's right there. A lot of discussion here as John Schuster approaching 12 minutes of time remaining. They're both stuck, but if I get just wrong with it, it's not good. And what was it John Schuster didn't like? Chris Plies twice well, suggested this one I can get into a ton that. of good places, and this is Yellow really tough one. In. Like, Johnny, I just think on this out turn, there's more options. Oh, they're okay. talking about sla All right. slashing the Edge red. Okay. Can always slash the corner I think in, we put too. Right on the corner of it. Yeah. But they're looking yeah, to just draw in. I thought draw really was the play sure all right along here. It. Like, your sweep has to be dead on here, so. Yeah, this is really precise, just trying to. Corner on their own stone. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, so I think it's a 40405 <laughs> for sure. Freeze on the what on the red. Oh. Okay, I was thinking yellow, but that's okay. I'm gonna try to throw you to the yellow. You guys tell them where it is and we'll call it in there. Yeah. So John Schuster with his first here in the sixth. We'll need a delicate touch. There's 11.15 left room. on the clock. Got room right now. A lot of curling to do. Line will get there. They're it's Just curl. trying to corner on their own Always yellow calling. stone. Always calling. Wait's very close. Right yeah, go it's curl if anything. It's not a bad position. I, yeah, it looks like it. But if that, that you might need that. That's a good leave. If it gets another two inches even, it takes away the raise for Corey. Okay. John Schuster mentioned down to 11.15. Corey dropped and said we're going to have to play quick the next couple of ends. <sighs> Probably jams. It might jam right here. Sounds crazy, but I could do that. Yeah, that's a three of you. Ooh. Yeah, I know. <laughs> At this point, that would be another it. fun one. I guess I this one is out counting this guy. Could just, could just go for snug. Yeah. I think, so. I think that's probably I the like smart it. play. Drop can just talking about maybe tapping the red to so. freeze. Tap the frozen, make him tap for. Yeah, I, I like this call. Back or he just for a second looked uh, at the I run back like triple. Like <laughs> I don't think we want to move the yellow. He he himself no, used the word crazy, so we didn't have yeah. to. But the way he's throwing the rock right now, I mean, nothing is crazy with regard to shots like that. And he did have a qualifier. He said it yeah, might be crazy. It's <laughs> okay. the hair Like a 14, or you want like a Probably looking, I heard 13.8 somewhere in there for Corey is what he's looking for. His final rock here on the sixth. Just clean, just clean, just clean, just clean. Close. Just want to move their own up about yep. a foot to frozen clean. on the number one clean. counter. Close. Yep. Just a little boop right on the oh, nose. Oh. Close, yep. Easy! Oh, oh, oh. Clock did not stop. Forget that one. And moves a little more than they would have liked, but not bad. Yeah, goes so. over the top. Goes over the top. Oh yeah, easy. So, I mean, I could maybe make it for four, but I don't think so. I don't think it's worth trying. So, so in, what ten. Kind of weight? Ten. ten. Okay. Yep. I think as long as I'm on this side of center, that one probably sticks with a ten. I'm just gonna call it. For we three might jump. need maybe one more inch, but yeah. Ten. A nice 10. A lot, lot of discussion this end. Like half is two, a third is three, quarter stop is three as well. I heard that from John half, half hitting half of this is two, so. a third is three, yeah. quarter could be a catcher on the side for four. 
So anywhere between one and four points possible on this shot. And last rock here in the sixth and the yep. discussion yep. of this last easy, shot. Easy. Much quicker than the others. Close. Close. Yep. 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 Yes. Hard. Hard. Good. Three more, boys. That should be good for three. We'll see on the third counter. Okay, three for John Schuster. So we are at 6-3 as we get set for the seventh end here at the Rankin American Dream. City's Orthopedics is ready to go with more doctors, specialty services, and convenient urgent care locations. Ready, set, TCO. Back at American Dream. Rowan and Wendling, 5 5 after 6. Casper leading Sampson with those two. In the sixth, Nicholas Connolly up on Scott Dunham with one in the sixth, up 6-2 Dunham. He really needs a result here. And we are on to first stone for Tom Howell and Corey Dropkins' team. Boy, that's a fun end to watch, the previous end. The chess match back and forth with positioning between Dropkin and Schuster. This one gliding into the rings for Howell. That is not the optimal start for trying to get a Normal. two. That's the sixth inch Normal, shot you yeah. were looking for. That was the one that would have been called out. <laughs> John Landsteiner, is it faster after the sixth? Nine. Clean. I don't know. Curl. Curl going. Curl the stay. Keep pushing. And just overthrew that a little bit and rolls off the rings. Schuster not real happy with that one. Unforced error. Yeah, Tom Howell second. Tommy taking a little off this one, trying to get it stopped short this time. Andrew, if you can. <coughs> Keep on it, keep on it, keep on it, keep on it. Go, 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 go. You're welcome to the chat. Sixteen. Some of these <laughs> games for the broadcast. Info manages to sneak through. That's a word I've never used in a broadcast before. Like it. Room. I think it worked for the spot, though. Absolutely. Life's good, though. <laughs> Proper use, indeed. We won't go back to what it was, because otherwise that ruins it. Definitely curl. We're men of the people here Go in the ahead, booth Maddie. with Go Curling on, Stadium. Put your shoulders in the bed. Go, on, Maddie. Hard. All the way across the line. Keep pushing. Come on, Maddie. A little more. Atta boy. Good throw. Good. Come on, boy. Chuck on. Huffman with Maddie. the guard. Leaves a little bit open on the, the side where the corner is. It's immediate intern freeze called by Dropkin. That is the challenge for Mark Fenner. Top eight. Top, top 12. Line's good. Where? 
Top eight, top 12. Line's good. Hard, guys. Got a great one here. Hard, That's Tom. That's really good. Close, no. Stay on it, stay Keep on going. it, never off. Keep Trying going. to carry it right stay to. Stay on it. Keep going. Keep going. Freeze Thanks. on that stone Thanks. and does. Good, shot. good sweep by Tommy 14. and Andrew. Pro sides here. 14 8. So 0 5. Okay. Now Colin Huffman. Looked like a run back here. Nope. Just another nope. Okay. freeze. Right down Got to that right stone. Easy early. Easy. Four five. Watch Still some curling to do. Schuster content Girl. just to keep trading these Girl. freezes. Can't Difficult for dropping to score Chris. more than one. Go, go, go. Straight. Plies trying to carry this one down now too. That away, Colin Beauty. Good, Good shot, shot by Colin. You can lob one on now. Or... Back line. No time to get creative for Dropkin. They need Guard's to okay. move these stones yeah, around a little bit, but still keep the shooter trying. in place. So even though that stone's completely buried, they're just playing back line on the intern side, trying to split that yellow stone off and have the shooter roll behind the corner guard. Delicate shot for Cooch. Space. Space. To the hack. Yep. Yep. Let's yep. it off with an intern. Hard. Howell Hard. trying to hold the line. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's it wreck instead. It was going to catch the guard anyway, so trying to make sure it stays in the house. Shot. That's not Wait. a bad result. Opens up the center and rolls into the house. It's a good call by Dropkin. And good to play those hey. types of shots tight. I like nine so out here. So you have an either or. Get something out of it no matter what. Pro side. Maybe just as good a result as if they'd made the shot they're playing. Now Chris Plies. Clean. In turn for a hit and roll. Girl. 9-0, so playing a little firm. Take Whoa. the ice out of it and the outside again. Good. Dead on the beak from Plies. A little more pace for both teams right now, trying to save some clock. Not get too tight on time, going to the final couple ends. Now Andrew Stapera. Top four! Ignoring those Line's rocks good. at the top of the, Room. the fours for the time being. Room. Tom! Tommy! Hard curl! Need you to go, need you to go! Hard! Need you to go. Gotta get there. Gotta go to no bury a good chunk every now. Inch, every inch, every inch. Keep going. Go, 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 go. Okay, good sweep. Nice spot. Just about completely Lost. buried, but enough distance you Lost. can dig it out. What's up? Okay. It's gone, right? Yeah. You guys line a guard? Yeah. Okay. What turn? Schuster it's changing gears now and playing the guard. Deciding it's late enough that they can play soft steel. You see the scoreboard right there. Three in the third, three in the sixth for John Got Schuster. You don't have to score in too Line's many ends yeah. when you're scoring threes. <laughs> Line's okay. Probably curl. It's definitely curl. Wide path here. Huffman really trying to get it bit. to turn. Go, Colin. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. It's you got it. Keep pushing, though. You got to keep going. Swath. Go, Huffman Colin. taking. Good, 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 good. Out of way. Good boys. I think Dropkin maybe will just nose run Do this. I pick and roll that way ever? I only have three shots left. I'm a little surprised not they're not easy. just hitting this right on the beak. Sit first and Could try to do this. at least third, maybe second. We'd love to get right here. This lines up the run, but it's really hard. Do you want to call a timeout? Or we play nose right now. That's the shot that I was looking at, yeah. I like nose now. I'd I you leave your shooter in a good spot, too. Off to the side of hair. Okay. There's not a lot of bad that can happen Back with the line. run. Back line, space. 
Pat, how much ice did you have in yours, Coach? So playing back line and trying to roll the shooter in. I'm not sure that it's going to be tough to make this rock count. With only two more shots left for them after this. Schuster likely guards again. Maybe yep. even draws around and sits yep. another counter in the side Fire. of the forefoot. So Fire. Andrew Stapera with his Whoa. final stone Whoa. in this yes. seventh in. Whoa. Yes! Yes! See where Turn, the shooter turn goes. Get this right out of the way. Go, 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 go. Okay, it's fine. Well, if that sits, now there's an in off for Dropkin, yep. too. Although so that's a good result. Time. Yeah, it's pretty flat and it goes right in here. So, yeah. I mean, it's, it is for two. Yeah. Is it ever here? <laughs> could be. I mean, I just, I have to stay, I have to outcount it. But again, I could put it in a place where maybe yeah. there's something else. I think that might be it. I just, again, this double catches, and if he plays yeah, good it. Good job by dropping to get that to a rock or a spot where they have an in off. Off that rock, they just bumped to at least get two later. So Schuster's going to guard again, I believe. He's got the double off the side. It's really flat, and it's going into his other red one, and then it's just me just smacking it on the nose of his fly. So just the guard. He probably is. But that's right. What's that? It's a guard. Straight guard. 20. You guys like 20s? Okay. In turn for a straight guard. Uh, it's pretty heavy. From John pretty Schuster. heavy. John right, definitely good. wants this tight. Right right now. Because if Corey does make Final that in there. off off the side rock, okay. he could play his, his own guard back for a raise. I think Corey has to play that in off anyways, though. He's looking at the angle run in first. Like the calf. Now with It'll this one, you can sit okay. three. A little extra then. Peel. Yeah. Now this is the high reward shot. Still will be buried, so. Corey's been waiting to play this shot the entire end, I think. He's been looking at this angle run. Okay. There more. <clears throat> so trying to run it into the yellow in the top of the eights, lose both those two and stick and possibly sit three. Close. Whoa, whoa. Close. Whoa. Yes. Yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, oh, it good. doesn't stick, catches on the wrong side, but good. sits at least one and buried. Play the hit and roll. Possibly the two. The two. We might, I think Schuster's going right to remove though? that stone anyways. Oh, we're second. So I think maybe it's the run then. John thinks they're second, so maybe just right play here. the run. Well, that's a little yeah, risky with a three-point well, lead. Pretty close, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think. Are there like nine? Oh, you just want to play a normal? Sure. Whatever you like. I like nine. Let's play this turn. I like the way it's been running. The intern? Yeah. Okay. It's not a long run, but this is the only shot that brings three into play. Just peeking to see. All right. I like the original call of hitting and rolling in. You see the clock just under eight minutes for Schuster. Nine. John expects to make this. That's why he's playing Maybe it. Maybe just a fuzz more, Chris, but nah, it's good. Just can't hang this one at all. Likely to hit at least one of the reds if it crosses. The wide side is the bad miss. Just looking to hit it on the nose. Yep. And he said he liked the intern. That's what he delivers. Yep. 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 Whoa. 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 And does make it. Nice shot from Schuster. Good scrub. Don't know that there's anything for more than one. So Dropkin looking at that intern draw. Just needed to catch the inside on that run on his previous shot to have a better chance for that two or three point end. So just the intern draw to the side of the four foot for Dropkin against what we believe is two. 
Schuster seemed pretty sure. And Dropkin ready here. Last rock of the seventh. Seemingly being forced for one, Mine's but he'll good. need to draw to the four to make it happen. Mine's good. Mine's good. Stay close, Tom. Mine's good. Mine's real good. Oh. Yeah, should be all there with this hog to hog. Needs to hit the slide path and dig. And does just that, really ground down at the end. So it is a single. One for Dropkin, still trails by two. Schuster will have the hammer in the eighth. And Steve's Curling Supplies, America's number one curling equipment supplier for over 50 years, is proud to support USA Curling. No matter your skill level or budget, Steve's Curling Supplies has all of the top products from the most popular brands in the sport. Right now, save $10 on any purchase of $100 or more by using the code USA Curling 10 at checkout. So USA Curling 10 at checkout, and you save $10 on $100. Go to stevescurling.com for all your curling needs. Back at the Rankin American Dream in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Rich Ruinen stealing the seventh, leads Wendling 6 5. Dunham trailing Connolly 6 3. So that does put us in position for a playoff on the men, or a tiebreaker, I should say, on the men's side to determine the fourth and final team of the page playoff. That's Tom. In the other match, Casper out in front of Sampson, 5-4. I got close. I got close. Five. And in this Lean. current scenario, Lean. the winner of that match is in. Still there. Okay. Seven. We're by. Whoa, whoa. Six. Weight's good. 14-1, though, guys. Careful. Weight's okay. In turn, come around I draw for Hamilton here. here. Half four is great. How do I it's going right I to the top of the fours. He's had that one in his pocket all game. Very strong game for Matt Hamilton. Probably good. Yeah, pretty close. Yeah, we're there. We're there. Uh, Tom Howell delivers a high guard right on the center line. To it, Matty. So the two centers set up for Dropkin. They're in all-out steal mode at this point. Matt's going to try to stack another one on can, top of the one that's already only. in the top four. We're close, actually. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Yep! Yep. Wait, it's good. Little tap. Whoa. Close. Line only. Whoa. Little tap. You can curl now. You can curl now. Looks perfect I don't think we're right now. Wait, though, on this thing. That way, Matty, beauty. Sorry, Matty. That's well done, right to the lid on that tap. Good rhythm for Team Schuster right now. Dropping's going to have to move these stones. It's going to take a couple shots to do it, to try to set up any kind of steal. As soon as these come to a stop, Schuster's going to be peeling. Back eight. Clean. Back four. Clean. And Mark Center said he was first. T. Does yep. Dropkin yep. need a steal here? I would Hard. say so. But if, Hard, you, if you give up a, a single, you're down Hard. three you with good one. Keep two going. to play. That means you're going to have to get stay three down, and steal down, or down. get two and steal two. Very That's unlikely. So Schuster's very happy with taking a point in this situation. Corey's going to do everything he can to steal. He's, he's playing all or nothing in this end. Clean. Suck on. Just clean. Good throw. The immediate peel. No big deal there. <laughs> Throw from Huffman. Dropkin's going to make him waste another High. couple, I would think. Maybe at least 
this one and one more before they move these stones around in the house. Careful. Fetter with his second. Line's great. Take a look. You're good, you're good, you're good. Nice spot. Okay. Right. Center guard in play again. Huffman, same peel, out turn side. Clean. Clean, clean, clean. Yeah, and simple peel, and so far, as you're saying, Schuster okay with this. He's fine with one at the end of this all. He's sitting two, and, and it's going to be tough for Dropkin to move those enough to steal with where they're lined up. That tap that Fenner played on his first stone, they were hoping that they'd create a pocket and not line them straight on. That way you can tap up and maybe get shot rock with one shot. Little extra. But the way that they're set up no, now. No, 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 Let no, it turn. No, 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 no. Let it turn. Anything soft okay. to tap those around, it's going to take two more shots to do it. Just let it grab if you can. Andrew Stapera. Yeah. This one might be on an angle that. No, I thought maybe they'd take a go at the double peel. <laughs> Is just Clean. playing the straight peel on Clean. the higher stone. Yep. Yep. Good. Good throw. Danny Casper now takes three in the eighth end to go up 8 4 on Ethan Sampson, improving his Ten. playoff position. 10. And again, right now with Dunham and Wendling trailing, that puts Casper into, a play, into the playoffs. And Sampson. Dunham and Wendling Clean. would be dealing with the tiebreaker. Yep. Whoa. Curl. 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 Stapera Curl. Clean that. Push. Whoa. 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 Roll. Tap hard. on his Roll. own. Hard. 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 Good. 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 good spot. That's really good. Great shot by Andrew Stapera. That's about as good as you can do that. So the angle's now playing in the drop. Can This favor. is okay too. Okay. I think Nose that was the fine. right time to do that too. Third, second stone. Ten. Any earlier, and you give Schuster too many cracks at clearing these rocks. So hit and roll in from Plies. Just trying to roll towards those two stones on the Easy. center oh. line. You're Girl. 10, so just Girl. control weight. Keep it on nose. That's good. Good. It gets the nose, and they're fine with that. Might be that. We got hack weight, and we can even just tap it there. Yep. Okay. So Dropkin trying to tap this yellow stone hack back weight. and roll away, maybe underneath Schuster's counter in the top of the 12 foot. Back four, back eight is great. Oh, just back four, back eight. So actually just trying to stay on that red stone. I guess with that broom, it looked like they're playing a chip, but it must just be that straight on this line. So just want to move that yellow stone a couple feet. Close. Corey Three. Dropkin here yep. in turn as he's yep. trying to set up whoa, whoa. Yes. multiple whoa, whoa. here. Curl. Trailing by two Curl. in the eighth end. Curl. Curl. This looks Hard. like Curl. Hard. plenty Hard. wait for it. And now rolling Lights. away. Good. Sit down. Well, maybe Corey Good was job. saying he was tapping it Good. to back four, back eight. That was the shot originally we thought they were playing straight until off Corey said that. So, that. so that's what he was playing and really well played. Just got to make sure I roll. No, it's fine. It's fine. I don't think I can stack our back one, right? Like, it's not possible. If it goes straight off, it's just fine. Okay. Well, let's try to make that on the way by. Uh, out turn across or in turn? Uh, no. Yeah, yeah. I like out turn across. Good. Here's a little more though. Put it on the middle. So run back attempt for Schuster. Red, red. Colin rolls yours. Coming your way. I'm throwing out turn here. 
Playing the out turn and trying to cross just a hair. Straight off is just fine. This is how he likes playing these runs. Basically just throw it at the center of the stone and let it curl about an inch, inch and a half. Oh, oh, oh. Little flare out of hand though. Whoa. Maybe play Close. it the other way. Whoa. Whoa. Now Girl. it's coming up. Girl. There it is. Just did come up enough. What does he leave for Corey Dropkin here? All right. Well, Corey's got no choice but to draw around the guard that's left. Just playing it to top four. You <laughs> heard Schuster say, kind of makes me want to play the run on my last one, too. You guys that ice? But you guys that ice? the single point's so important. If I'm Corey, I think I'm throwing this to back four. Good. Let John draw to follow. And the outturn draw Where? by Corey dropped in with his last Three. stone in the Backing. eighth, trailing by two. Sweepers don't want to go right now. There's nothing wrong with a little behind the tee line as long as it's buried. Fly's trying to get this out of shot. Right, Corey, what are you doing? What are you doing, kid? I think it did still stop for shot. Throw there, never wreck. Corey chastising himself there. I mean, that's there. a mile less than he just took, but I think we can just. I mean, we took like a foot and a half less than he just took, and I'm just throwing draw bump, but I still think we can go. So Schuster's we playing probably four back four, close to back eight out of his hand, so I'm gonna try letting to the sweepers 95. sweep to tap it. They have to move that it probably draw. two inches to score two. Okay. Making sure a one first, not throwing a back line or anything that could go by. Last rock of the eighth for John Schuster, trying to see if he can go up by four. Ten, with two really ends to play. Curl already. Curl. You're off on cleaning. Straight. You can keep curling if you Curl. want. Curl. Curl. Keep pushing. Huffman Keep turning pushing. it over, Keep just pushing. need to get it to that rock and bump it a little bit. Perfectly done, that's two for Schuster. Two in the eighth, eight four with two ends to play. John Schuster trying to see if he can remain perfect through this draw on the men's side. And Warm Room Hero is the intuitive curling club soft, uh, software that takes the stress out of schedules registrations and more warm room hero a platform built for curlers by curlers check out warm room hero at curling.club today that's warm room hero at curling.club Back at the Rankin American Dream in East Rutherford, New Jersey, you can see elsewhere Danny Casper up 8-4 on Ethan Sampson. Rich Ronan got a single in the sixth, two steals of one each in the seventh and eighth, and leads Wesley Wendling 7-5. Nicholas Connolly up on Scott Dunham 7-3. And the way this is right now, Casper would go through. And Sampson, Dunham, and Wendling would be 1-1 one one against the others. Would have to go to last stone draw to eliminate one, and then they have a tie half, boys. Come on. First stone here. Keep going, from Cooch. Tom Keep Howell. Going. Keep going. 
Okay, high good. guard with Matt Hamilton leaving one at the back of the four. Line's good. I think I can clean this. For really Schuster, easy, now we're in nah, you guys full judge defense line's mode, just stacking rocks in the house. Would like it kind of across, but. With five rocks, three guard zone here. rule, they still here. will, they can't peel Gotta go. Gotta go. on Huffman's five. first. Head down, Chris. So you may see three rocks in the Get house Get from support. Schuster. That's why they want this a little deeper because they might be stacking another one on top of it on their next. Tom Howell. He had to put a guard. Line's good. It's always straight. Right Trying to get him even down. up. Leave it. He's got to sit. Just wants to stop dead in line with the other corner guard. Good pair by Tom. We tap. First stone from Colin Huffman. You heard John Schuster freeze is fine, so an in-turn really draw. Easy line. Or excuse me, out-turn draw. Not right off then. That's the seven. It's fine. You're in curling. Definitely Just curl. looking to tap this a little bit, not Keep far. Pushing. Keep pushing. Flies Keep pushing. trying to get to nose. Out of way, Colin. Pistol. That a boy. And there's that three rock stack we talked about. Now Mark Fenner. Line's good. <coughs> we're, back. We're, we're not there. We're like top Trying four. to draw all the Hard. way back 12 around these Girl. three yellow stones. Using Girl. the rocks in the house as guards. Come on. Come this is on. something that was a staple for John when we played. We'd, we'd play this shot pretty frequently. Usually not quite this early in the end. That one doesn't vary enough, so be just a peel for Huffman. No reason to keep any other rocks in the house at this point, so. Yep, yep. Just a quick peel Please, and whoa. be done with it. Whoa. As long as you can see a piece, I'm happy with it. Whew. It's just enough. I think they're gonna attempt that one again, see if Fenner can get this buried behind those three. I have right here. You think Dropkin needs at least, at least two here in the ninth. And even two makes it an uphill climb. And three is at least reasonable. Back Down back two back without Please. it's. Okay. Yep. Th they'd still Line. play it out, but that's extremely Clean. difficult. Yes, 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 yes. Hard guys, gotta go. Well, he likes this. Is it gonna make hard, it? Hard, hard, gotta hard, go hard, for hard. distance. Keep going, right to here. Whoa. Ends up just settling into the third yellow stone instead of going around it, but pretty much completely Freeze. buried on that line. Could also do this too. I, I just worry about Freeze being kind of bad. Want to call a timeout? Sure. Timeout. Timeout. There we go. Talked about freeze or slashing the yellow over the top into your own yellow well, yeah, into the yeah, red. Like no, I don't want to do that. I don't really want to bring either. the corners I mean, into play, though. We we'll listen, draw, we'll listen in now. I know exactly how to walk it in there. I mean, they just threw a 14 1 right in there. It's the exact same speed we had the whole game. I think even if you were to park it up here short and be like not in the, the way, the it's not the end of the world. I mean, if you happen to, as long as we hook some or keep it edge on edge in here, like there's a bunch of really good places in here yeah. for it. So I'm down with it. It's fine. You like the freeze? I mean, I would love to get all the way to it, but we just, I don't want to err on going like yeah. that. That's yeah. all. So. Just want to know it's perfect. Yeah, and I think we're probably looking at broom like so here. The perfect so. is dead locked on the face. Uh, Top side of T line would be just fine. Okay. Yeah. No, I know. I know. <laughs> Discussion over. We're good. 
It's a big moment. He seems so casual about it. You know what? Yeah, whatever you want to do. You know, yeah, I on. think he's had a few <laughs> big moments. I think he's fine. Thanks, Aaron. So just playing that freeze that they talked about. Yeah, I think weren't real excited about playing it, but the run that they talked about playing, if you lose a couple of your own yellows, that's when Dropkin can use those corners. Right now, they have to keep playing to the center because of all those yellow stones. And Chris plies the out turn to try and... He said, do I need it against the face? Schuster said, straight. top of the tee's okay. Close going. Yep, gotta go. No, line's good. Line's good. Take a look. Go ahead. 14-3, though. Whoa, whoa, it's curling anything. Slow. No, straight. Go, go, go. Go! Whoa, oh, oh. That's really point. well done there. And you have to play these types of shots if you're dropkin because it's the only way Space. you can put together Space to any type of end for possibility of scoring a three. And you just throwing the gauntlet down and say, okay, if, if you make this, hey, tip your cap. But with the way these rocks are set up, you're going to need a Please. miss somewhere to have any Clean. chance of getting that three-point end. Yep, yep, yep. Hard. Andrew Hard. Still pair up. Hard. Whoa. 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 Sit. Needs this to spin and stick around. Okay. It is on the paint. Let me guard this one. Okay. A lot Here. of yellow that they're going to need to okay. move around to have that rock count. 10 15. Well, can they move them all and still keep it to count? Well, I'm talking about the biter in the back. They're, oh, to okay. make that one count, oh, they're going to need one. to move a lot of yellow. Easy so line. we're happy it stayed, easy but line, easy line. it's going to take some work to make that thing come into play. Line, please. Call and get it going. Need it fully across the line. Come on, Colin. Come on, Colin. Go with him, Eddie. Hard, Colin. Push. A little more. All right. Works. So with that Hit setup, the they're comfortable throwing the guard at this point. Late enough Same in shot. the end, they don't think it's too dangerous to play. Corey, again, just trying to bump things around to give him any kind of chance of finding a two or three. Clean. Intern from Stopera and. Yup, 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 yes. Hard, Man, this hard. Is curling hard too. Hard. To be on the guard and we'll try to roll it in the rings at least. So good news for Dropkin is they have three red stones in the house. Just middle. The bad news is that even though one second count, the others are seventh and eighth count. His only shot. Sorry, sixth and seventh count. I'm not positive the guarding isn't right anymore. Tongue-in-cheek comment that from there from Corey Dropkin. Yeah, Four wasn't a lot. Five's a lot. Maybe. I counted right the first time. What's that? You go right to it and hook it on this side. I'm Seventh and eighth. <laughs> yeah, I th let's just get it. And Chris, I think I want to be a not. No. At no. this point, this he ha does he have to yeah. keep that He's, second? He almost can't see enough to make this. So. To, well, to yeah. ma I, don't, I don't know how it does. He, he has to move that rock on the button at some point. He right. doesn't want that rock to go out, but, I mean, it's... It's all Mine's a move point anyways really if you can't get a lot second of room one mass. in there. Okay. Let's curl. Go ahead, Colin. That line's good. Little curl, bit. though. Easy. Easy. You guys see it. You guys see it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's fine. Good. Time, Time to out. look at some angles. I'm going to call Time out, out Coach Lazar. Time out for well, this is the only one that's... Yeah, but how are you going to get that to count? Now that the four is there, it's a little harder. He just lobs one in. He lobs one in here. He's got this, this. He lobs one in here, and hopefully he doesn't curl. If it... 
comes in here, we might have. Or it's this. Before that was there, my original thought was make this tick stick here. Get these three gone. This separates. This comes off. This is right here. He just draws T lie three, and it's you have to make a run triple. Now that that one's out counting this, I'm not really sure. Can you make this? Can we make this? Maybe. I don't hate that. And then we have this for three. If he doesn't play that, which he might play that, but then that's not in. And if he rolls out, then we might have something. I don't know. Oh, you're not going to now. The only way you can do that is if you're making this. But and if we can stick right here, right now. Are you slashing it in or are you ticking? Yeah, can you make it though? Because you're hitting an inch. Okay. Are you ticking this? Yeah. Wheel it and get this to here. Okay. He's yeah. playing that, but. We have enough now. I don't know if we have enough. It's kind of what you need. It might be there. Or are you. You play whisker thin and make this, but I don't know. If so looking to see if they have enough yeah. air between these two down there, but if you have red rocks, it, the guard and the rock in the top of the 12 foot. Right here is really good too. You hit as much, like almost nothing. To come off of that stone into the pocket of these yellow stones. Ideally not move your own. We got enough. I think there's enough here. Corey agrees. Where we got a hit? An inch. Okay. You said this will curl? So Dropkin trying to get close to this guard for the in off, off his own red. Ask it a lot here. Hard! 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 Whoa. Good. Oh, not too bad. A little unfortunate they did move their own red. But sitting shot. Probably not something that still know gets more than two. Yeah. You're expecting to see before he Maybe threw he it. But this one? Oh, this one's a little out, magic so from Corey. He has to make this one count. I think I just throw one above this. Or I don't know. What does he have? I mean, he's, he's going to have to play this run, yeah. right? I mean, if there's no runs over here that can do anything, right? Like, top I think side, I don't think so. just guard the four. Yeah, just guard the four. Same thing I just threw. Like, do we ever think he could shimmy through the hole here enough to just chisel this? I think we got to guard this. I think we got to throw it kind of here. Okay. Like to guard that and that, so. It's a little bit more ice. All right. Give me that rock, boys. Still don't have it here. All right, John Schuster back for his final stone of this ninth end. I think we got to just let him run that top one in there, to be honest. Like, I don't want to leave him that hole. Like, a little to guard shimmy. the four and but really. We got to just, I don't know, or be half on the center. Was line, discussing different options if there were yeah, for Kyle Dro tight, uh, Corey yep. Dropkin to somehow clear enough out to get three. Schuster content to give him two. A little bit, Matt, lean on it. Lean on it, Matt. Okay, line's good now. Always straight though, I think. No, get ready to curl. Straight. Never curl, I don't think. Just mid guard oh, here, Robbie. trying to Go take that port away. Easy. And whoa, the run whoa, whoa. at the same time. Good. I know I can't do it. Yeah. So we'll find we out, is it. there a way in for more than one for Dropkin? Maybe this? a redirect. No, it's not there. No, it's not there anymore. Hoping you for gotta, something for three, that. even. Okay. We could tick off of this guy. While they're stick talking, right Wes oh, Wendling know. did get two. The tick is pulling it in the ninth to tie that better, game up with Rich Ruinen. This guy's, this guy's going over the top. Coming home. 
to possibly clinch a playoff Maybe. spot. It's close. Just slam it like. Yeah, the way things are right now, Connolly leading Dunham uh, seven to five. If we tick, it's probably spinning. So if Wendling can just, steal yeah, yeah, and Dun Dunham loses, okay. there is no tiebreaker on the men's right. side. Eight, eight, five or seven? Probably seven. Like you're hitting now this. under three minutes for Dropkin and their timeout has been used. I don't see I'm how. Thin so. half? Yeah. We're hoping they can paper by that rock in the top of the eight right, foot boys, with this run back. There's also a bonus shot if it's a little thin to come off the back of the biter in the top of the 12 foot for yellow. That would actually be the best angle in if they could ever do that. But Corey's gonna try to get as close to that rock in the top of the eights as they can. Slash in, would be for three if it sneaks by. And Corey Dropkin Whoa. hoping for something Whoa. really Whoa. special right here. Whoa. Yes! Whoa! To close the gap Whoa. on John Schuster. Whoa. Whoa. Just goes between the two that we talked about, so it is one. Okay. And that's good enough for Dropkin. They are shaking hands. One for Corey Dropkin to go to 8 5, not going to play to steal for three in the 10th. And John Schuster finishes this round robin at 7 0. Corey Dropkin 5 and 2. As he also lost to Scott Dunham 8 to 6. And Scott Dunham might end up out of this whole playoff situation. It's a mess out there right now. Uh, great game tonight on our feature. Uh, a statement game. Both teams are in the 1-2 regardless, but Schuster is now the top seed. They will play Dropkin in tomorrow's page 1-2. That will be at noon Eastern time. We're still going to be waiting to see what happens in these other three games all having bearing on the playoffs. But a wonderful game here, and we'll, uh, here's, we'll update on your scores here, Joe. Well, they've played five stones each. Rich Rowan and Wesley Wendling, they're level at seven. Wendling will need a steal in the 10th. Danny Casper leading Ethan Sampson eight to six. We have handshakes on sheet B right now. Connolly defeating Scott Dunham. So Dunham now playing the waiting game to see if they're still in this competition. So just the second win of the round robin for Nicholas Connolly, but it's enough possibly to eliminate Scott Dunham. Now Dunham and company are big Rich Ruin and fans. Pile of stones in with Rich Ronan and Wesley Wendling. And a big stone here from Rich Ronan. They just peel away. The truss was blocking that guard over on sheet D. We're sticking with you to the finish of these games. You've probably clicked over to the one of the other feeds <laughs> to actually see it. We're in the final two stones over on sheet A. Here we got a little bonus coverage, and you see the mess of stones over on sheet D for Ruin and Wendling. Looks to be shot rock for Wendling right now. It's extremely unusual to see seven rocks in the four-foot area with no guards in the 10th in a tie game. 
Wendling definitely guarding. You saw Jason Smith, or we saw Jason Smith play a peel on his previous shot. And now Wes Wendling replacing that stone. Great job by our team here at Curling Stadium. Getting the bonus coverage so you can watch this with commentary. Over on sheet A in the meantime, Danny Casper is a wide open hit. Just make contact essentially for the win against Ethan Sampson, which would put Sampson in the waiting game as well. That would put Casper in the third spot. Yeah, Danny Casper looking to lock in his playoff position. Just cleaning all the way down. So Casper gets the victory over Ethan Sampson. 9-6 the final over there. So Danny has locked in his playoff spot. If I'm correct, I believe they are the three seed now. Yes. Regardless of the finish of the other game. And really, here's what it comes down to. If Wendling can keep that shot rock in that whole crowd of stones to get a steal against Rich Ruin and Wesley Wendling's in the fourth spot. Sampson and Dunham are out. But if Rich Ruining can get the win, then we go to the tiebreaker. And we may have to go to last stone draw. <laughs> and it would be LSD to eliminate one of those three teams. And then we'd have a tiebreaker. Ruin and trying to tap this redstone up for shot and well done. Now sitting one, but there's a little short run in with the angles on these yellow stones for Wendling to get shot. Question is, will they still be shot or will there be a way to get that yellow out if they make this tap? Can they get to the pin? Not sure. Maybe that red rock just isn't going anywhere. So a big final shot, the last stone 10th end for Wesley Wendling. And I believe if Ruinen wins this game, then the tiebreaker will be between Wendling and Sampson. Oh, here's the guard, so that's oh. game. So I believe that eliminates, and I'm checking with the crew here, Scott Dunham from the tournament. We're not 100% sure on that, but now a three-way tie between Wendling, Dunham, and Sampson. We're going to the numbers. <laughs> so is this a one and one against Every, each other? Everybody's one and one, Sampson, All Dunham. Right. Wendling all one and one. So last stone draw to eliminate one of the three, and then you have a playoff, a tiebreaker. So we're checking the LSD as that will now eliminate one of these three teams. So of the three teams, It looks as though Wendling and Sampson will be advancing to the tiebreaker game. Scott Dunham eliminated on LSD as all three teams one and one against each other. So we're gonna go with that. <laughs> <laughs> so what it means is if you're so inclined, it's 7.30 tomorrow morning. You can tune in for the tiebreakers because we'll have them on both the men's and women's side. Here, Schuster, Dropkin, and Casper are through. Casper will await the winner of the tiebreaking match between Sampson and Wendling. And again, on the women's side, we had excitement earlier today as well. 
So tomorrow morning's tiebreaker games will be on sheets A and D on static feeds. 7.30 tomorrow morning. There will be no commentary for those games. Apologies. We won't be up for it. <laughs> but we thank you for watching tonight. Really excited for the playoff round coming up this weekend. Good luck to all the teams going forward. Back to you, Joe. All right. So, again, tiebreakers tomorrow morning at 7.30. When you go to the USA Curling YouTube channel, you want sheet A or sheet D for those two tiebreakers. We are back with you at noon for the page playoffs where we'll have four games going all at the same time to figure out who's going to advance into the semifinals. And we'll get ready for a final on Sunday as well. But first things first, tiebreakers tomorrow morning, 7.30, and then the page playoff between the first and second seeds on the men and women's side as well as three and four. We'll join you there at noon Eastern, 11 Central. So another big day from the Rankin American Dream coming your way tomorrow. Thanks for joining us for the excitement tonight. Congratulations to Team Schuster, 7-0 through the men's side of this USA Curling National Championship draw. We're back tomorrow for the playoffs. For Tyler George and our entire crew, I'm Joe Tallison. Have a good night. All the best. Thank you.